Hello and welcome to Not 40, Just Blank, a podcast where we aim to take you back in time through the years and discuss the weird and wonderful events of that year, which we think made it so memorable. Each episode will see us discuss the major talking points of that particular year, from TV, films and music through to the news events of that year, as well as the odd and funny stuff that got us all talking. Hello, and thanks for joining us for yet another episode of Not 40, Just Blank. In this episode, we take a wander down memory lane to 1992. It was a year that seemingly had everything. An Olympics in which Team GB did fairly well, the breakup of yet another European communist country, and royal marriage strife galore. But more of that a little later. Joining me on this ramble along the twists and turns of 1992 are two jolly good friends, Rich and Phil. Hi, chaps. Are we well? Yeah, all good. Yeah, not bad, you. Yeah, good mate, you. Nice, nice, yeah, we're ready for this one. Um, yeah. So, let's get into it. 1992, we're 14 or thereabouts, so well into our senior school experience. We've got acne popping, hormones well and truly imbalanced, and girls were probably front and centre of every waking moment, I would imagine. Any standout moments? waking moment. Uh, waking, <laughs> waking moments. I want to be very clear with that, my enunciation. Any waking moments. So we've got any standout moments that we're willing to share straight out the gate? Uh, Del, yeah, I'm going to hit you straight you. away with uh, a paper round for me. It's all about the independence. I know, Phil, you was part of the paper round crew down at Nightlies, weren't you? I was, yeah. I didn't what know was it was that, that year. I suppose it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. What were, you, were you 13 when you were allowed to start a paper round? Was it 14? I don't know. I thought it was a bit like child, child sort of labour. Must have been yeah, yeah, I thought it was a bit like chimney sweeping yeah, in the 1800s. Yeah, 13, 14, yeah. yeah. But you're right, it must have been that year. I completely forgot about it. So was this yeah. a morning paper? It was yeah. a morning yeah. paper. Oh, the responsible one. None of that yellow advertising. Uh, no. <laughs> this is paid for. Not well, horrible. thing I've got written down from there is um, Madonna's sex book. Do you remember when that yeah, came out? Yeah. And it was in the News of the World. They'd have a little sort of snippet. Or in the uh, magazine, wasn't it? In the magazine, magazine yeah. yeah. See, and this this marks us out already because my mother was a Daily Express woman. Oh, we weren't man. seeing any snippet of nudity. Okay. Well, we wasn't, but we knew that like news of the world was the filth. So if you could like maybe tear a bit of the plastic, you could sort You're of like, yeah. Or occasionally a magazine could go missing, but there was the odd sort of like customer, wasn't there, mm. who would like kick off, wouldn't he? I don't know how long did your paper round last for, Phil? Because mine was not that long, probably about a year. <laughs> Wow, well, in terms of, I thought you were well, asking. I was, I was about to say an hour. It was a long. But. Surely people were complaining. We only had one paper in a year. Who is this guy? Is that, <laughs> probably is only 25 papers to deliver. <laughs> probably not even that long. I don't think I, could, I couldn't get up at that all the time. A few months. But I remember that the exact day that I quit my job because uh, David Scanlon decided to quit his job. And I remember. Was this a solidarity thing? Yeah, it wasn't even that. I just think I was so weak. That I was just sort of like... <laughs> saw I was, someone do it. I went, someone do it. I've got to like copy him like that. And this poor guy, <laughs> Knightley, I remember just going in there. And I was so headstrong. I just went, I'm not doing my round today. And he was like, what do you mean? You're quitting? And I went, yeah, I'm quitting. I'm not doing my round. And he went, yeah, you are. And I went, oh, no, I'm not. And he goes, yeah, you are. I went, no, I'm not. And then I thought it was all like James Dean or something like that. And I just got my paper bag. I threw it at him and went, kiss my ass, you fucker. Like that. And I remember walking out like that How and uh, thinking that would be the end of it. But I forgot that Knightley had my parents' phone number. <laughs> and by the time I'd cycled all the way back home, <laughs> it already rang my mum and dad. And uh, yeah, I had to go back down. I so had to shake his eggs. hand. Oh, amazing! <laughs> and he made me do the. Oh. He made me do the round for the day. You showed him, didn't you? Yeah. yeah no, do, you, do you remember he was only about four foot eight? <laughs> he but, but he had a, he had a massive step on his counter. So behind yeah, the did. counter, he looked about six okay. foot two. And then he would suddenly get down, and he was like, he was taller than him. You'd be like, did he it, get this yeah, off the shelf? It's it's intimidating the as top well. shelf, the middle yeah, shelf. Yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, right. He had. He had like small man syndrome, didn't he? But I remember like seeing like Matt Taylor was doing his paper round as well, and I remember he'd like steal Mars bars, and I was like, oh, I don't know what to do here. Do I do I say anything or, yeah. or whatever? But he like absolutely slashed his paper bag. Like I said, I thought mine was bad enough saying kiss my ass, you fucker. But he actually slashed his paper bag. I mean, that's like there's no coming back from bad, that. Is there? That is that's and a then final thing. Throw it back to him. That's yeah, it's extreme. Mm. Yeah, he was fuller. 
Follow that. He was the bad boy. The, <laughs> what, what have you got? <laughs> that is the bad boy of the paper around there. That really was. Yeah. That was the, yeah, so king of the daily. Was yours anything rock and roll like that? What, Phil? quitting? Yeah. Or was no, you, I, I, I was handing you notes. <laughs> no, it was, I've had a lovely time. Thanks so much. <laughs> it was something like he had rang me up and said I hadn't delivered to a house. And I said I had. And mm. we were back and forth. And he was going, right, you've got to come down and do it. And I was like, I can't. I think I, I think we was doing like mock exams or exams at the time. And yeah. I was like, I can't. I've got to go to school. No, he, and he was adamant I was going there. And I just said, well, I can't. So, And he was like, well, you don't come back now. I said, well, okay, well, I can't. So I'm not coming back. It was, it was something like that. It wasn't. It just fizzled out. He was horrible, man, wasn't it? I mean, he was, yeah. It was horrible. But yeah, that was pretty much that. But the, um, oh, no, the other thing. No, the big thing, actually, from the paper round. Sorry. I Bigger than the paper that. round. Bigger than the paper round. Was, do you remember, like, this is, this is going to make sense, but I'm going to divert a little bit. Do you remember, sort of, when we used to go over and play football, there was, like, this guy who's about 25, bearing in mind that we were, like, I don't know, 13, 14. 14, yeah. He would turn up and he'd always ask if he could play football with us. He yeah, turned up yeah. in an Avaco, West Ham yeah, 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 sort of yeah, top. Yeah. Yeah. And sort of, we, we felt a bit sorry for him. He was I don't think he was, like, noncing it up. I generally think he was sort of just a nice guy and we sort of, like, let him play. Meant, meant well. But he had a job every morning. And um, I've got written down here, fake ghost. Because I literally thought was he was a ghost. ghost. Because every morning he would sprint from like the bottom of where he lived, which is down by Phil, which is yeah, pretty much just run, under a, a mile. He would sprint at the exact time. And every time I would see him peg it past. <laughs> and I convinced myself that he was a ghost. <laughs> it's just like ridiculous. Yeah, pretty crap. But yeah, I wish he'd have worn his West Ham over yeah, a yeah. coat up. Yeah, I do remember him actually. Now he said that. I do remember he used to sprint everywhere, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it was like one of those. It was just perfectly so sprinting. Yeah, yeah. It was like the inspiration it's for Forrest Gump. So strange, isn't it? It's like you can't trust someone that just sprints no. all the What have they done? Pretty much going. What are they running away from themselves, probably? Mm. I got here setting Bunsen burners are like. What, you know, I'm, I'm assuming just you mean science. in school, yeah. In science, yeah. No, no, right, yeah. <laughs> just any Bunsen not much call for a Bunsen burner yeah. in PE. <laughs> what are you doing with that <laughs> Bunsen burner, Dan? This is cricket. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I've also got down here as well, um, I think this was my first breakdown, I think I had. Wow, well. really early doors. Yeah, I think so, mate. Because, well, I'll tell, tell you, I mean, I'll let you be the judges. Um, I literally, um, I don't know why I did this, but I thought to improve my popularity with the girls and obviously to gain friends, I would bring in a yellow rubber skeleton <laughs> called Yo Egg Sandwiches. <laughs> And a, and, a, and a stuffed red dragon that I got from Wales that I called Taffy. No, no, I didn't even call it Taffy. I called Wacky Wacky Woo Woo. So it's like, it, it was the most cringiest thing ever. Like so much so that two of the girls wanted to punch my fucking face in every time I'd have it. But yeah, it's just sort of like, yeah, it's pretty much borderline breakdown. But in my head, I was like, yeah, this what is clearly... What did you do with this? This is working. I used yeah. to take them in and do stupid like voices, like little... Uh, like which, puppets. Like. Yeah, which is like, again, like this ain't going to get you friends, is it? <laughs> I'd like, it it might is, get you a podcast. It's drawing, yeah, drawing attention to you. But, <laughs> to be but, fair, though, I wish you'd oh, known that, no, that near at the time. No, I don't... Yeah. I think I was. We could have uh, saved ourselves thirty no, years. I was, I, mate, I was in a massive crisis after that, obviously, because no one went fuck all to do with me. Had, like, to, had to really up the level so, of yeah, wacky wacky woo woo. Reevaluate myself and say, like, which can't be bringing in fucking yellow skeleton. <laughs> Turns out, fourteen getting on for fifteen. No, is, no uh, one gets laid yeah. with a yellow rubber skeleton, do they? Sort of Not to my knowledge, but I'm sure there must be someone out there that's. Uh, yeah, managed it. There's some serial killer out there. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Exactly, yeah. Even serial killers deserve love. Mm-hmm. They do. Possibly. So that's all really I've got to... Oh, creepy PE teachers. We, they were kind of like the showering thing. Didn't they? they made you shower. That's not how you wash they? it, yeah. give it here. Yeah, they kind of lined you up. It's, it's proper creepy, wasn't it? It was a little bit, that, yeah, borsterly, wasn't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> Everyone in your pants, just line up and then run through the showers, not getting wet. Yeah. And pick up a towel on the other side. It wasn't even proper showers, no were they? It was bases, like yeah. a, just a leak, wasn't it? It, it was, was like, basically, yeah, just a lime scale ridden <laughs> hole in the wall. <laughs> That occasionally a bit of water flowed through. Yeah. Happy, Not the best, was it? Ha- happiest time of Phil's life. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's, he's looking wistfully into the distance. <laughs> oh, I remember those showers. <laughs> Great times. Great times. Uh, great showers. So can you uh, can you improve on any of these uh, memories, Phil? No, they're so, so specific, isn't they? I can't really remember stuff. Like that in the paper round was interesting. It, it must have been that year, actually, thinking about it. But funny enough, I mean, we just, yeah, we were, I, I just kind of remember you just didn't care for anything, did you? Just football was my life then. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. A no girls, as much as no. you wanted girls, you just you just treated them horribly. What? No, no. Is this your early stage into a bit? You telling that story of um, 
like people following and following suit like mm. with what other people did. I remember yeah. I remember um having a girlfriend and we had, had a couple of friends around and they had their girlfriends showing off around. straight away right. is that like, so, unbelievable so there, was, there was me and two friends and all our girlfriends there three of them yeah and then uh, we'll just do whatever and then they go we're going to go up the road get some whatever go get some bits and then, get some crack and, and whilst they're out <laughs> get some bits they sound like a 40 year old mum <laughs> I'm just popping down the road get to get some, some bits I can't, I can't remember what they went for but they went up get some like leg of lamb juice <laughs> they were going to go they were going, we're going up the road we're out of cumin, and we just <laughs> we just decided while they're out, we was going to dump them when they got back. <laughs> and they all come Savage. back. The end of a relationship, and it, all it took was them to go out and get <laughs> some bits. We were just talking. It's like, wow. shall, shall we finish them when I get back? Yeah, shall we? Easy and we come, did. They literally come back, and we were just all just went. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, were were they happen. heartbroken? Were they feel? I, I think I can't remember exactly. They probably were not heartbroken, but they're upset. <laughs> they, they probably, yeah, it's probably the best thing. That, it's memory. probably the best thing that happened to them. But <laughs> yeah. it's just the fact that you just think, God, that was just like yeah. it's that quick. Yeah, yeah, you just no care was but it? it? Was just but like, there, was no, there was no guarantee that you would ever get another girlfriend I know. as long as you live. That could have been yeah. your one chance of happiness, I know, I know. and you decided over a conversation. You was that yeah, arrogant. I yeah. yeah, it is, isn't it? It's it, more it fish in the sea, I suppose, isn't I mean, there, boys? Just, you know just what didn't mean? care. It was, it was. My life was football, 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 and I think, and it was that. And yeah. I think the only other thing I kind of remember. It's not nothing specific, but it's. I think we discussed it on the last episode. Is I, I, this is the year I think I started to get into music. Yeah, last year we kind oh, of okay. alluded there, there's to the some, fact. Yeah, there's, there's some reference <laughs> points of this year, you can which we'll get into up, later. Yeah, if you were to chart your progress in yeah, music, yeah, it's definitely really definitely and film. Yeah. And film. Maybe. But then I mean, film's I always remember. been a bit of a constant for you, hasn't it? Whereas yeah, music yeah, but I, is, I, I, yeah. I think it would particularly started to on film because I, I always remember, <laughs> for some reason, I always remember watching Barry Norman and Film 92. <laughs> I always remember that as being like the, like the first one. <laughs> well, you know when you say I'm, watching I'm it, I'm fully used, on board And I used to yeah. record it yeah. like every week. and like, It used like, to be on quite late. Like 11.05 or something. Yeah, it used to be on quite obscure, late. So yeah. I'd always record it and then watch it the next day. And I used to love it. Uh, like, Can you do the... Can you do the theme tune? Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 Yeah, it was great. I want to hear, I want to hear this back. That was an absolute belter. It was great. That's really taken me back, yeah. But yeah, so it's it's just things like that. I thought that was the theme tune for Bergerac, to be that's similar I mean, if we're going to go down this route, that's... Bow, bow, bow. Yeah. Yeah, good bowing. Thanks. Like, it's great. Bowing. If there's one thing I can do, I can't play an instrument. Bow. They're all similar. Grain chill. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to. Yeah. We can <laughs> sing any theme tune. Yeah. <laughs> we do, um, we're available for weddings. And, yeah, we can do bar mitzvahs. We've yeah. got we've got a whole repertoire. That's always so long as it's specific to 1991 and not not quite a barbershop quartet. But no, we yeah. are missing. One extra person. So if you're interested in filling our fourth exactly, slots, yeah. please uh, apply at uh, info at not40justblank.com. Are you? Yeah, you. Would you like to meet geezers like yourself in your area? Meet up with fellow geezers that like to eat pie and mash? Yeah? Would you like to bowl down a roll and kick a dog in the nuts? Yeah? Meet fellow geezers, meet up, have a beer? Yeah? Why not call the geezer our helpline? Oh, four, nine, two, one, nice, nice, nice. So let's, um, should we take our, our customary look at what was happening in the news mm. in 1992, see if anything sort of refreshes our memory. Um, start off at 10, here we go. The Cold War was officially over. Ooh. Huzzah. America and Russia decided... We're just not going to point missiles at each other anymore. <laughs> and we'll, they, just, we'll just we'll call each other names. They did, they did figure it out that it was all due to that Rocky speech at the end of Rocky Four, didn't they? If you can change <laughs> and I can change, mm-hmm. then Only everybody took can change. Six more years, but okay. Any uh, anything else that we've got, chaps? Um, um, yeah, I got the yeah. um, obviously Clinton became president. Um, mm-hmm. That he did. And then, like after he became president, for what I remember, he was always getting his sacks out. <laughs> Constantly yeah. before, before later getting his knob out, <laughs> all the, all the before yeah, yeah, getting his sacks up. Yeah, pretty yeah. Much. yes, yeah. he was. He was a uh, randy little tinker, and no mistake. But uh, probably did some good as well if he ended the Cold War. So we'll give him that. Is um, yeah, obviously you got the Premier League launches, but that'll probably we'll talk about come that into later. that in a sports. But yeah, but yeah, absolutely the end and. 
demise of the old Division One, Division yeah, Two, pretty yeah, pretty much, and like all the sort of the old sheds for stadiums yeah. and all that sort of. But it's that whole sort of launch of Sky, isn't it? And the, yeah, the Razzmatazz, more, more money, more money. Football. And it's when football yeah. still took off, and yeah, everything changed for the better, for the worse. You could be the judge of that, mm. but yeah, definitely yeah. a big step change, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. As much as I miss the old football, I can't imagine it now. Yeah, yeah, it's a very different base, isn't yeah, it? I yeah, when you think back, it's like, think it yeah, but don't miss the level playing field. Yeah, like you could literally win a league one season and then finish fourteenth next yeah, season, yeah, and then a new team would win. Whereas, and it was just such on, dominance now, didn't based it? on tactics or based yeah, on yeah, yeah, it was, yeah it absolutely. Was, it was yeah, such a roller right. coaster of it was. You didn't know who was going to actually win. Yeah, because it was it was yeah. So I kind of miss that side to, side of it. Yeah. It was all like the the players as well. You could you, you could have a like a pint with someone like Mick Quinn, couldn't you? Oh god, they were literally they were eating same drinking culture. You, know, you, can, yeah. you can That's imagine, peak, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. They're none of this uh, training sixteen hours a day. It was yeah, mate. we'll do an hour, and then we'll have a pie and a pint. Mate, and... well, I remember seeing Robert Fleck at Pleasurewood Hills with Gav, and I remember being absolutely heartbroken. Why was Robert Fleck at Pleasurewood yeah, Hills with Gav? <laughs> Were they, a, were they close friends? Gav was meant to go with you, but he, he showed <laughs> it was Robert Fleck. Flew, flew it, you off. That's why he was heartbroken. What are you, what are you doing? I'm it out with friends. Before, uh, it was before internet, internet chat rooms and sort ah, of like, okay. uh, yeah, sure. n- noncing it up. Uh, Gav just replied to... Uh, <laughs> to he replied to, to anyone that to, wrote to him. To an article in the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy uh, coming to Pleasurewood Hills today with... A, like yeah. uh, not even a Premier League. Well, yeah, with a first Norwich, league Premier Nor- League. Was he Norwich City at the time? He was Norwich City, yeah. But yeah, wow, he was. Um, but still, he broke my heart that day. Not not because he went off with Gav. And, no. uh, he didn't choose me. I didn't go up to nonce material. He wasn't. Uh, <laughs> he just, I didn't you, make it. You weren't his cup of tea. Yeah, it was just the fact of he started smoking. I was absolutely heartbroken. It's a fact of like a hero, like a hero of mine smoking. at that oh, time, man. that age that I was. Yeah, was, impressionable. Yeah. It means everything it to was, you. It yeah. was. It was. Gutted. Absolutely devastating. Not that the fact of the he fucked my best mate. <laughs> it was a, that was that was merely a that yeah. was just I was, I was like yeah water that, off a duck's back. That was, that was crossing T's and dotting yeah. I's at that point. The real damage had been done. Damn you, just Flecky! Like, yeah. Damn you to hell. Let's move on. I've just got a couple of things. Euro yep. Disney opens ninety two. Was that nineteen ninety two? Oh, okay. Wow. wow. Ninety two. Um, obviously, we touched on we've got the Summer Olympics in Barcelona. Mm. Indeed, absolutely. Uh, and again, you probably touched on it a little bit in your intro, Jimmy, but obviously Prince Charles and Diana separate. Oh, oh man, the end of the, the fairy tale, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah what absolutely. happened to them two? Um, I think I think he's doing some stuff with biscuits now, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah. Big well, at least he's on, doing stuff with biscuits. biscuits while his brother's doing stuff with <laughs> He's doing all with manner Robert of stuff. With Robert Fleck. <laughs> but I think, I think uh, actually Fergie and Andrew broke up the same year, didn't they? Did they? Did they? And then you had Princess Anne finally getting a divorce as well. So all of the Queen's children, basically split up in their relationship which is what she then yeah because then she to, hit the she? crack pipe and then that's why you had the uh, Windsor do you think Castle. the fire at Windsor do you think they're all yeah. in the room together talking again she was just finished she was just finished yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did a, did a Reynolds as it was <laughs> yeah, called back then that. yeah we started a craze so we all just agreed they read your biography <laughs> film <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've heard about this fourteen-year-old uh, guy in Essex. He's <laughs> revolutionary about his uh, yeah his relationship status. But yeah, all all three of them, and then yeah, she alludes to the fact that it was her Annas Horribilis in the the Queen's speech, wasn't it? Yeah. So the castle burns down, her kids all break up, and she had a right fucking stinker. She did, but she can't say that because obviously she's the Queen. So <laughs> she had an Annas Horribilis. I, I think that was their exact words in the Queen's speech that year. Mate. I see. I, I didn't have. Oh, that. a fucking stinger! <laughs> can man. anyone oh, can fuck. anyone think of a better way of wording this? Yeah. Yeah, I've had a shitty year. I don't know about you, lot, but I've had a oh, real fucking, stinker. Bang on the crack! A fucking <laughs> ass is burned down. The castle's gone. <laughs> Andrew's having a nightmare. <laughs> Bloody Charles doesn't know whether he's coming or going. And as for Anne, I've lost all hope. What else? Um, we got uh, the release of Terry Waits, the hostage. Oh, right. Do you okay, remember yeah, that yeah. guy? Yeah, he was the yeah, bearded guy. He was guy. to a radiator, wasn't he? Or something yeah. Like that, yes, yeah. Kept, yeah, a bit like what... Um, what Filled <laughs> into one of our uh, <laughs> his classmates. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> chained, well, chained to a radiator. Chained to a radiator, radiator or the, uh, at lunchtime. <laughs> the airing cupboard. Chained him in the uh, airing yeah. cupboard. You, no, locked t- in the airing cupboard. Locked in the locked airing, in airing cupboard. cupboard. Was it, well, yeah, that's, I was involved in that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was involved. And we also sprayed hairspray in his eyes. So hang on. Let's just take that. How many... How many different people did you either lock away or chain up during your 
fourth year at senior school. It weren't just me. It wasn't like, you make me sound like someone No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely levelling this <laughs> all at you. So when I the mean, police want to listen back to this. I mean, considering I was probably about four foot two at this. <laughs> I mean, I was how tiny. Did you, how did you hold so much sway over people? Get in the cupboard. Didn't you take I over? Don't want to. Get in the cupboard. All right, a good blackmailer. <laughs> We've got photos. Get in the Get cupboard. in the cupboard. All right, I will you, yeah, you took over from Knightley as well on the, on the, on the, on the higher step. <laughs> he had a raised platform in his just, own house. I used to carry it around me just where I stood. <laughs> a little step stool. Get in the cupboard. No. What about now oh, if I stand on this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, blimey, you're massive. All right, yeah, go right. on then. Yeah. That was naughty, but it was like it was like cheeky kidnapping. Yeah, right? it's like cheeky. They're the best couple. They all like, like it was. It was like romanticised. It's like yeah, retro, yeah. retro kidnapping. Retro kidnapping. That's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> It's yeah. like hairspray oh. in the eyes, still a couple of timeouts, a couple of CDs, automatic yeah. for the people. Here's a, but, but the worrying thing is, the, the, the worrying thing is that there was just for the hairspray, you were standing with the Bunsen burner in front of me going, go on. <laughs> That's where they all went. <laughs> yeah. That's it, man. So I knew they need to sign them in and out of science got, class. Links Java. And then, yeah. Oh, but he would have smelt great. He Crispy, yeah. but smelt great. His face was completely melted. But, but, but he, he smelt delicious. amazing. <laughs> you, even past the charred realness. <laughs> he smells absolutely <laughs> delicious. <laughs> oh, big, big fan like of that. A, like a tasty marshmallow. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we got Terry Waite. That was that, was that one. <laughs> we went from um, that. We went from Terry yeah. Waite <laughs> to, <laughs> to burning to, friends of ours <laughs> with Bunsen burners. I, yeah. <laughs> that I even is... got this. Is this is how like classy my notes are? I said release of Terry Waite. Hostage captured by bad men. <laughs> <laughs> the bad men. By they bad they men. were everywhere though. If you listen to my mum, honestly, they were hiding around the every men. corner. Yes. The bad men. I heard about. You the make bad sure men. you come back home straight away, darling. Oh, mate. Bad men. Bad men will get you. Well, speaking of bad men, do you remember David Meller, MP? Oh, no, mm. he wasn't so much bad as filthy. He was. He, he was. was the, he was the toe sucker. Toe wasn't sucking. He? Yeah. Well, did he suck the toes, or did he receive the toes? Because it's Antonio. 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 Plays for West Ham. Uh, Antonia, Antonia de Sanchez. Sanchez. That's she was it. a. She was an actress, wasn't she? Yes. And way out of his league. But I don't know whether it was a. Reciprocal I think he received thing. it. Do you reckon? Yeah. I, I think mean, he did. Man, either way, it's not. It's know, not a good position. They look some be. cheesy old remember, toes. Yeah, because yeah. I remember. I, I think there was like a famous. Photo, he was wearing the it, Chelsea kit, wasn't he? I can't the, remember. And it was, yeah, I think. I think they was, tried yeah. to make it sexy, as in it wouldn't have been sexy if he'd been sucking the toe. So but, it must but have having been having his toe sucked was sexy. Yeah, but they, I think it was more concentrating on her giving the sucking. They kind of tried to what make the it toe sexy. Mean, yeah. I think. Okay. Right. Okay. Either I way, I can't remember. It depends on your point of view, I guess. But either way, don't even anyone's. Got the photo then, send it in. Yeah, well, no, that's another one for, I remember from the paper round. Oh, that's oh, another one. Yeah. Did, did you peel yeah. the cellophane day. back? I'll oh, go in tomorrow. Oh, oh. Definitely heading in. <laughs> no, no, number 25 Dansfield didn't get their, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> didn't get their copy that day. <laughs> <laughs> Just worked out that address. Impressive. Yes, no, it was. Uh, but, guys, you ever sucked a uh, tie? I don't know if I'll probably, probably, have. probably not willingly, but I no. imagine whilst, no, I whilst passed out, never. you boys have. I've tried dipped, to suck my own. I don't know if you, have you ever tried to suck, like toe. This is. I, I'm not that flexible. <laughs> We're not quick. Yeah. Nowhere near that flexible. I've got no. a bad bag. I can't be. But it's like it's, it's like one of them things. Like I when you climb a mountain. <laughs> well, yeah. It's like, it's like once you've done it, it's like where do you go? It's like it's yeah. Not, I suppose like, you've you backed yourself into a corner, haven't you? Yeah. Painted yourself to the corner of the room there. Then you just. You just lower your self esteem. I imagine you just Crying. look at yourself, you catch yourself in the mirror and just go, What are you doing? But yeah, have you lowered your self esteem more or less? I mean, the fact that you failed to suck your toe but attempted yeah. it. No, I, no, I made I'm it. Just, no, no, I made it. Oh, you I did, did it. suck it, but it wasn't. It like no, it, I it wasn't. Was, I thought you were saying it, it wasn't like like you the, failed. To it wasn't do like it. the news of the world said it was going to be. <laughs> it wasn't like Antonio de Sanchez said it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, there's, it there's, wasn't like Mella's toe. There's no attractive actress. No, there's no paparazzi there so taking photos of that one. There's just really, what, a, a, red, no. a red dragon and a yellow skeleton just looking on and judging you. Just, what are you doing, Rich? No, Leave. no one was Wiki, taking Wiki it. It's the summer of Sam. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> just two, two inanimate just objects shaking their heads just, at him. Just oh. don't judge me. Oh, I'm just Richard. in the corner, <laughs> trying to suck my toe with a yellow rubber skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> 
and that, <laughs> that was 1992. You know, uh, and my mum just down in a bottle of vodka. <laughs> just going, it's, just, not, just, it's not right, it's Alan. Not right. It's, it's not, not right. We should get him checked. Getting... It's definitely a breakdown, love. It's definitely a breakdown, darling. <laughs> we got Speaking, a, well, yeah, go on. What, what, oh, sorry, else we, what else have we got? Harry Connick Jr. Uh, uh, being caught with a gun at JFK. Was mm. he really? Yeah, at the that, airport. I can't yeah. even recall that. That doesn't, mm. no, never, Bad never even made it onto yeah, my, that's pretty much my like radar. Boy, I think, yeah. yeah, whether he thought he was still filming the Memphis Bell or I don't know. But Lovely stuff. Yeah, and as we we know, the, uh, the, the theme tune to Memphis Bell. They got cool. Uh, more the IRA bombings just got here, but I just oh, thought they started being it? more considerate, as in they started to call you first. They, they gave you a 20 minute warning. Yeah, yeah. whereas yeah. They, it was. Before it was like, bang, you're gone. I've got uh, I've got things along the lines of the uh, compact discs were outselling tapes oh, for the first wow. time, okay. and as an extra nail in the coffin, W. H. Smith stopped selling vinyl. Really, really? and oh. now it's back. Yeah, everything oh, no. comes in cycles, doesn't it? I've got uh, a couple of dodgy things making the news. I mean, like David Mellor wasn't bad enough, but we had obviously Mike Tyson. We mentioned last yes. month that he was convicted of the. Uh, a rape of the Denzel rape of Washington. Denzel Washington. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've got Woody Allen having an affair with his stepdaughter. Um, yeah. Oh, remember yeah. that? I about that, yeah. Dirty I mean, properly. How old was some... she So I think she, was, she would only have been like, was she 20? But, but I mean, it's your stepdaughter. It's like yeah, completely, kind of... completely wrong, isn't it? It's yeah, like, a little oh, bit. Right. Yeah. Woody, like wasn't you're not he, weird he, enough. Wasn't he with but, like Mia Farrow? It was Mia Farrow, yeah. 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 They adopt this daughter together kind of yeah. thing. Wow. Um, South Africa. Voting to end apartheid, realised that it was probably the right thing to do, about bloody time too. Yeah. Many, many other things, but I'll let you uh, boys chime in. Well, got this, this one's a bit shit, but I'm going to say it anyway. Yeah, let's I, I it. think I'm going to bore myself by saying it, but hey. Um, <laughs> you, due you. to virus, but it's called Michelangelo takes effect, but I don't know what that's about. Um, but this one's a bit more lively. Yeah? It's uh, Billy Idol is <laughs> fined £5,000 for hitting a woman. Oh, my days, Billy. <laughs> like, I, I, I assume you'd go to jail for that. I, I just like It's just the fact of, yeah. That's very true. It's almost like he, he was paid for it. Yeah, but in them days, you could just say it's rock and roll, couldn't you? Yeah. It's very yeah. rock well, and about, roll. Yeah. The Tyson's uh, little incident, that wasn't so rock yeah, and roll. So, yeah, he gets basically the same thing as littering. Yeah, pretty but, much. And yeah. it's like, what the hell's that about? But Tyson, do you know what Tyson's actually original sentence was? Go on. It's 10 years. It and was, what did he get? I don't know. What I, did he do? I don't think he even did I'm two, not sure did he? Did he not? Yeah. He did yeah, he, great deals, did he, at all? Because he was out for um, the thingy fight, I think. I think he's fighting Lennox, um, sorry, Evander Holyfield within like three, four years. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Yeah, um, that he's, was thing. He used to be a celeb, apparently. Yeah, no. He's, um, oh, Mafia boss John Gotti was jailed for five murders. He was like the, probably one of the last of the real sort of big Mafia bosses, really. Matt, and on the flip side of that, uh, forget... Forget organised crime. The Church of England allowed female priests. Yes. Mm. More organised crime there. Do you know what her name was? I don't know what her name was. Have you got that level of detail? This is unprecedented research, if he has. No. <laughs> <laughs> or this is going to be a horrific, horrific name that's about to come out. Uh, Sally Beeswax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume that might not have been the first female priest's well, name. Well, but we know. can't. We can't. We can't, can't disprove it. it at this moment. <laughs> two, two more little uh, nuggets of info. The first nicotine patch was, oh, okay. was introduced in uh, Ooh, 1992, really? helping those filthy addicts to uh, give up the dreaded weeds. And then finally, from myself, I've got DNA fingerprinting was oh, invented. Cool. Yeah, really? it's gone on to solve it's many a crime. Many a crime. There's um, oh Benny Hill and Frankie Howard died. You, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We can, do you want to move on to a few, uh, few oh, sorry, bald, that... births and deaths? So, yeah, you mentioned Benny Hill, Dale. Yeah. They... Um, and then Frankie Howard was... They died within a day of each other, didn't I they? I think so, yeah. I can't remember which one which one went first, but two big losses to the well, comedy world. Yeah. Mm. He, well, yeah. It'd be weird if they had a pact or something like that. Like, Maybe but, they had a discussion like Bill did. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll tell you, yeah. Should we, uh, I started, should we, should I started we a craze. Yeah. You, they did a film with Louise. Yeah. Like, wow. Drove, yeah. drove yeah. off a cliff. In a, in a milk float. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest milk cart in the West. <laughs> <laughs> arm in arm. Let's do this, okay. Benny. Okay, Frankie, I love you. Or Titty Enoch. Whatever the fuck he said. Yeah. Benny Hill. But Benny Hill was massive, wasn't he? In oh, America, Jesus, yeah. He? he was like, like, 
if you ever go to America and you talk about like British comedy, like up until sort of like recently or whatever, you'll generally get it was Monty Python and, and Penny Hill. Yeah, yeah, they were like, just obsessed. Weren't oh, they? Yeah, it's yes. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's like, it's like it's 20, 20, 30 years on, sort of thing. It's like yeah, of all the things more than that, that sort of tra- trans. Because like the things kind of like falls, the and horses stuff, went over yeah. people's the heads over there. They didn't get it. Yeah, absolutely. But they got a guy chasing the women around and slapping a ball poke. You, you don't want to say they're basic because that would be tarring an entire nation with <laughs> no, a brush. Just, but but yeah, some things resonate, don't they? They're basic. But they're they're basic. Phil Phil said it. I didn't want to say it, but he said it. Um, and then the only other um, sort of dearly departed was uh, Denham Elliott. I don't know if you know the actor. Yeah, the, the, he was in like uh, he was Last the, Crusade and different yes, films. Yes, he was, like, he was always sort of the posh English butler type thing, wasn't he? I think he was yeah. the butler in, oh my goodness. The, <laughs> oh. No, that's not <laughs> that, the no, film. No, no, no. See, this is, this is why you should do that's, the research. But oh. he was in, was it not Trading Places, I, but it's that. Yeah, no, he was. No, I think he yeah. was, wasn't it? I yeah. talked to myself out of it. I was committed to Trading yeah. Places. And something in my head said, but no, if you'd have that. stayed with it, he was here's the butler. And, oh my, my goodness. goodness, like literally, I would have bought that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was speaking. Of. <laughs> it does sound that. like the kind of film he would have been in. That's the thing, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, my trousers are on fire. Yeah. <laughs> that was the follow up. That was, yeah, uh, was number two. It was yeah, pretty, pretty much a go to, but yeah, fortunately, a year not of that many deaths, which is you know, nice after the couple of years we've looked back at. We had some stinkers, didn't we? But yeah, yes. Far yeah, more, far more uh, talents coming into the world in 1992. Yeah, let's hear them. Let's hear so them. I can, uh, I can give you Wilfred Zahar of Crystal Palace for a I'm start. Still off. I'm still waiting for that talent now to come through. Come, on, I'll up. raise you Philip Coutinho. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll give you Mo Salah. Oh, Sadio Mane. Oh, really? Christian Eriksen. Wow. Well, so I'm waiting for Firmino. We'd have the, yeah, front, exactly, we'd have the, yeah. the first Neymar play. was born in really? 1992. Yeah. I mean, not a bad little uh, six-a-side team. You yeah, mentioned that's there. pretty good, yeah. Uh, in the acting world, we've got John Boyega, Finn mm, from uh, Star Wars, Star Wars oh, okay. and Daisy Ridley. Really? Both the same yeah. age, yeah. Christ. We've got Taylor Lautner, who was uh, in... I've no idea. He's the knows. werewolf in the... He's the werewolf? <laughs> Twilight Saga. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the ruggedly handsome one yeah, to the yeah, yeah. white, skinny, weird vampire dude. Oh, okay. I've got uh, Laura Kenny, who is not a name to most, but she's the cyclist yep. who's like part of the Married husband and wife the, thing. Yeah, They're yeah. the most successful athletes in Team GB history. Oh, okay. They've won so many yeah. gold medals. It's absolutely insane. Uh, Sam Smith, the singer. Yeah. Selena Gomez. Ooh. Demi Lovato. Cardi B. Not so bad yet. Yeah, not Miley bad, yeah, Cyrus. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah because just... he was big that year, wasn't he? Old Billy Ray. Old Billy Ray, yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. Achy Breaky. He mm. obviously celebrated uh, Achy Breaky Heart yeah, success yeah. in the right way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was. And, uh, yeah. It was, um, he was a... like massive, though, wasn't he? Like, country, like I, we only know him for like Achy Breaky Heart, but. Yeah, I'm sure he's got. Like, uh, yeah. He was like huge, wasn't he, out there? Big old deal, but yeah, yeah we just remember the mullet and the. Yeah. The nonsense, but yeah, they are they are the the births I have from nineteen ninety two. Did you guys uh, find anyone else or no? Are we, are we happy with that exhaustive we list of talent? I'm happy with that, yeah. List then of I'm happy too. Good. Would you like to play against professional blackjack players? Hell no! I want to play against someone I can beat, like someone who's blind, deaf, or even a cat. But the best thing about playing a cat is when they've got a good hand, they just start purring. Why not play our cats? See if you can take on our cats. I dare you. At catsblackjack.com So, gents, we've uh, sort of mentioned all the news and the current affairs of the year. Let's talk music. A mixed bag, I feel, once again. Some some highs, some lows, some real dross in the middle. What do we think about the music scene in 1992? Phil, yeah, let's go to you. You're right. I think it's, like I say, not as good as 91, but not as bad as 1990. So, like, in the middle, isn't it, I think? Yeah. And like I mentioned earlier, I think this is the year when I started to... Get into music. Oh. <laughs> when, I, wow. when I started, my, my band. Glad you said that. <laughs> this is the year when I started. Is, uh, yeah, Did Beast, I ever the, tell you about bestiality. That? <laughs> no, I think it, it was. was it was like, one or the other one. It was going to be Nirvana or bestiality. I tried it once, but I hate it. Yeah, and that's exactly. It. I think that's like reference points. 
we mentioned how hard it is to actually have reference points and yeah. personally, but I think this was one of them. Yeah. And as we mentioned, the last one, no, although Nevermind came out in 91, didn't really come over to us. Yeah, absolutely. Until 92, and so that's when I started to get into Nirvana. Uh, yeah. Look at you, early adopter. Joins throwing it out there. Joined, yeah, I, was, uh, I was cool at fourteen. Yeah, guys. but that's it. You, you think you are, but then every other kid, I mean, every he's got, other he's kid, got a girlfriend. He's listening to the like bar. This proper. guy's a catch. But every yeah. other kid was as well, weren't they? That's the I, thing. I fancy Phil at fourteen. You thought Jesus. you was like this, like every oh yeah, other. this is this is for me singing to me. This is this is, and then every and then yeah. you find out every other kid in school yeah. is doing the same thing. Disillusioned yeah, okay, youth. Yeah, in a way, yeah. it's good as well because it means they were good, I suppose. Yeah, and you weren't. Although you kind of wanted it to probably be a bit unusual. Did you ever want it to be like it was just your secret that only you kind of know about this band? Or were you happy that there was like... I don't know, it's a bit of both, spirit? isn't it? Yeah, you get that. You do get that. And then you... Yeah. But you want to share that secret yeah. with other people and just go, these lot are just yeah. fucking mind yeah. like And it was, was, like, it was uh, good like that. And yeah. then... This is just our secret. And the other, the other reference... <laughs> The other reference okay, points of music. Me, <laughs> <laughs> the only reference points of music where I, I, I do know I was getting into it because I, I do remember getting this album shortly after it came out. And that's Rage Against the Machine. I do yeah. remember that that coming out that year, and then I, that was okay. one of the first ones I kind of that was, with, that's, 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 that was that like, angry. That's uh, angry yeah, Phil. Yeah, that's when angry it? Phil first angry appeared. Phil. So that's the thing, isn't it? Like, oh, like had an angry Phil. Like, I kind of, I kind <laughs> of Papa Phil. Angry film. I kind of guess that's where Dale was going with the angry album. And it was, and it was just pure or, angry. Or is it? And maybe he, maybe it's something completely. I know, that's it. Right. Sure. I don't maybe maybe it's Angry Anderson. Ah. Who sung suddenly the theme tune from the neighbour's wedding. Maybe it was his album. <laughs> there you go. But it yeah, it, it was it was maybe. like that full of angst, wasn't it? Them out that music you wanted. I don't yeah, know it's proper teenage sort so of. So what like, were you angry at at fourteen? I don't know. That's what I mean, I don't think I was. But I mean, the girls were. <laughs> he's just dumped yeah. his girlfriend. The girls were angry at Phil. He was just <laughs> dumping them uh, just at the drop of a hat. Oh no! Oh, I'm going to ask the magic eight ball. I don't think I was, yeah, but it was, it was it was the music. I mean, it was good music. Still is so. I, for me, it's their best. Album. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It was, it was very good. In fact, I don't think I know any of their Are there any other, there other, any other ones that we're aware of? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think they brought out an opera album or like. I don't think. Yeah, yeah they didn't go to prog rock didn't or anything. They do a did tubular they? No. Bells no. collaboration with Mike Oldfield. I would have loved to have heard it though, wouldn't you? Man alive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Christmas single. Jason Donovan, Rage over. Against the Machine. <laughs> I close my eyes. Yeah. Put a bullet in yeah. your head. And I'll put a bullet in your fucking head. <laughs> Angry Phil on drums. <laughs> That'd be a lovely touch. Um, you had Incesticide as well, so I think off of the uh, success of Nevermind yeah. in Nirvana, decided to do a, release their B-sides. So what would have been the track to pull off of that? Can you recall anything specific? Uh, sl- sliver, is it? Yeah. What's the, um, what's the other one when it's like Mum and Dad Took me to a show. Yeah, that one. Oh, was yeah, that? Yeah, okay. yeah. So I think that was probably the the, the biggest, the biggest one. But okay. yeah, it was basically all the B sides from Bleach and maybe Nevermind. When it? it was just basically, yeah, the success make, of make hay while the yeah, sun yeah, shines. Yeah. Quick, so let's had, get some. Yeah, you had that, and then the other, well, the other top album I've got. I'm probably talking a little bit in depth about. I'm probably only because it's a genuine masterpiece. My favourite is Automatic for the People. Yes, yeah. at the time, to yeah. be fair, I wasn't into Arium. No, so you, you was into kidnapping, before, didn't it? Huh? You was into kidnapping, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and for a minute, when he he paused at the wrong moment, he said incest decides. <laughs> yes. I didn't know where we were going. I thought we were going to go down a very slippery path that we had to pull him back from. But yeah, yeah, so I wasn't that So I wasn't aware just, of it, but he's my probably my favourite album. It's so good. Yeah, it's yeah. It's I mean, it's, you said out of time, and this is the crazy thing. It was eighteen months after out of time. It's such a different sound mm. as well. It's just yeah, bad, but it's. It? I mean. They I mean they refused they refused to tour after our time, even though it was their biggest album of the time. Go Old straight shiny, in the studio people, and then release yeah. this sombre, dark album. Orchestral, yeah. yeah. I mean, Just it was big it, sound. It wasn't was it? bizarre. It was because it's got it's got some hell of a dark themes to it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. It was an, it was a band at the peak of their powers. I think even Peter Bucks in some famous interview even said we could have released an album of the telephone directory and it would have yeah. sold millions or something yeah. like that. Right. So they knew they, they had um, that freedom to experiment. Just, yeah, I try a different, mm, they want, different sound, Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, yeah, there's about six singles off it. Dry, I mean, Dry being the first one. Um, it's not a typical single either. It's no, quite no, absolutely. Dark and that, but it's, it's a proper album track, isn't it? Yeah, Drive. yeah. I mean, and this is the time, 
you said about CDs over like yeah, yeah. overselling tapes. I remember this being a time of everyone getting them CD six changes and you yeah. know that, that <laughs> C- thinking, CD six changes six changes oh, okay. you know the, the six, six disc changes <laughs> yeah. so it's like you you pretend you have like a up. jukebox in yeah. your in your bedroom yeah, right? yeah, or you had the the brilliant random buttons random. you just randomise yeah, it yeah that's true this album I couldn't do any of that I had to listen to it from track it was one a proper to 12 one, yeah. it right, was one of those okay. the few that you could yeah, just go you know what yeah, yeah, it's like a narrative the, the, I'm going to listen to it as they intended yeah you had to There's even some of the even yeah. some of the not so known singles the ske- the like scheduling of the album they is, take you from one yeah, yeah, to the next thing they want to talk about don't they absolutely yeah. unbelievable and the last three tracks I mean Man on the Moon Night, yeah, night, night swimming, swimming and fun. Number eleven. That, I just remember. Oh, was Man that. on the Moon that late? I didn't yeah. think it was. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And then so. And then find, find the river, isn't it? Yeah, find yeah. the river. I mean, yeah. I mean, Night Swimming. I just listened to. Once I'd done the album, I just yeah. listened to that continuously. Oh yeah. I, just, I mean, Night Swimming and Find the River. I was, you look at the lyrics, and they wouldn't be out of place in like a like a poetry book. Yeah. The lyrics are like unbelievable, and then yeah. the music. Just with it. So yeah, it's... and then you get like a random song about Andy Kaufman, don't you? Yeah. With Man and yeah. the Moon. It's <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah some of the references. It's again, it's genius. Just... So yeah. it's like... And like, oh, you crowbar even, it in, but even yeah. everybody yeah. hurts, but it's gets not out a lot of place. Of stick. It's really it wasn't weird, this. It? I think you told me this Phil, actually years ago, but it was in Michael Stipe and Kurt Cobain having a competition about how many years they could. Get yeah, apparently so. Yeah, a, like song. Yeah, apparently. So like Man and the Moon, the amount of yeah, 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 yeah as he says. Like, Just purely to yeah, try yeah, and get one up and on. And then what's, what's was the lithium, wasn't it? Yeah, Kurtz lithium, was lithium, yeah. yeah, where he says yes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, there, yeah there, that, that is a rumour anyway. I don't know how yeah. true that is. but uh, So we've gone from, from your favourite album of all time then, Phil. Mm-hmm. Dell, what, um, uh, what albums are we? Uh, yeah, um, obviously, we, I, I think we can all agree we all listen to REM. All, yeah, Automatic, definitely. That was yeah. definitely one of my favourites. Again, it's up there. I struggle with favourite album of all times because my albums and music oh, yeah. choice changes. It changes so. continually. It's all based on mood and what have you. But. So frequently, but definitely, um, I have got uh, obviously Rage Against the Machine. Phil said that, but yeah. a couple of ones you haven't mentioned. Um, Arrested Development was... I was say, three uh, years, five months and two days. It, yeah. Great album. With yeah. uh, People Every Day and Mr. Wendell. Mr. Wendell. Yeah. There's yeah. another tune that they released. I can't remember it for the life of me. I was trying to trying to sort of very quickly skip it today. To what, from that album? From that album, yeah. It is a de- it's a really decent album. I, I like it. It was so unique as well because for the time it kind of didn't Yeah, yeah really absolutely. There wasn't sort of, much else. There wasn't much similar to that, like that, was there? Yeah, so. yeah, totally. And the lyrics as well. And, and also from the time because uh, still uh, like hip hop got a bit of a bad name didn't it but they mm. they found a way to sort of mix it with sort yeah. of like a um, softer kind soft, of intro softer to it. tones re- sort of maybe a slight bit of reggae in there a mixture of soul and different things but i just love the combo yeah and obviously just the lyrics and storytelling was great as well like again mr wendell's about a homeless guy you know what i mean yeah. it's just sort of like but beautifully sort of said mm-hmm. um the other thing is oh stereo home says connected <laughs> I oh, loved yeah. that album, and that was that the writings on the wall. Was it yeah, if you make sure you're connected. Y- yes, on the wall. Um, yeah. you had Amazing. step it up. You had ground level and connected. It just Again, depends how close to ground, ground level, level you, are. you are. Oh man. But what ruined? What again? Bloody car phone warehouse later on ruined uh, connected for me because they played it to death. It's that yeah. that whole thing. Corporate, the hey, corporate world screwing everything MCs, up. I'm probably, sure they coined it. They, in. they nailed it in big time. Absolutely. Um, our, our big album as well. I uh, can't believe we haven't mentioned it. Is Dental Hygiene with Bad Cavity. <laughs> oh, yes. That wasn't on my list no, of uh, did you not, things um, to cover, but it's coming to stand out. Here, let's let's, so, let's, some let's of the dive, stand let's out tracks on there. Is yeah. uh, Touching the Nerve. Lovely, yeah. Uh, the Plaque root, Attack. The Root of the Problem. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> splendid stuff. <laughs> and Fill My Heart, Not My Hole. Wow. That I was, mean, uh, that, that's a bumper sticker. Is that, is that the yeah. album, but was that just the list of dad jokes? <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. It's the ones it's used, not an album. They used on my be. kids. <laughs> that <laughs> is delicious. And, it, and even then gave me the same stairs, that, <laughs> blank stairs that Ble- you gave Bleeding me. Gums Murphy yeah, on exactly. their saxophone solos. <laughs> Lovely. But, uh, yeah, no, um, I think... That was it. Oh, James' album. Uh, seven. That seven. Yeah. yeah. They, you had Ring the Bells, Born of Frustration and Sound. But being on, I to, I, being openly and honest, my music taste was really, didn't really get into this sort of music till later. Apart from, obviously, Arrested Development. Um, Rage, yeah. 
I was aware of it. I loved REM singles and stuff, but mainly I was listening to still the same smash hit shit. Um, Jimmy Nail, <laughs> ain't no doubt. That sort of stuff. Prodigy, um, there were not so much Prodigy, but it was more dance. There was like, a like lot Rave, of dance. Rave 92. Rave was huge, wasn't yeah. it? So when you sort of start looking at the single side of things, yeah. you've got all of these cracking little things, and then you've got things like... Trip to Trumpton and to Sesame Trumpton, Street and Charlie, and on a ragged tip and right. Shame and stuff. Yes, right, and that was quality. Yeah, that album, Shaman's a great album. And apparently, anyway, it was out now on Cookie Jar. And if you can tell me what Cookie Jar is, what was, what the fuck was Cookie Jar? Was that the, the Cookie Jar? Is the label, isn't it? Oh, is that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. For ages, it blew my mind. Like, <laughs> like, what? So we've, what is we've, we've we've had our uh, Coco Heart <laughs> moment for you, Dale. We're, we're we're curing things that have been plaguing us for thirty right. years. I was like, like out now, like there's an actual Stop. Cookie yeah, Jar. Yeah, with Cookie Jar, cookie jar is a record label, to my oh, knowledge. Because it's therapy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. No, we're, just waiting, we're just waiting for um, that moment for you, Jim. Massive uh, really, to come out. Yeah, can you wait? I think it might be like 96, 97. I've got, uh, some, I've got some real insecurities shit. about, so keep, oh, no, keep tuned, viewers. Well, two, two Unlimited as well. I used to love them. Um, yeah, absolutely. Everybody's in the KLF, place. KLF. That, yeah, again. Sort Sweet of like, Harmony. Sweet Harmony. Yeah, I love that. I was more dance, actually, then. And I wanted the whole sort of, like, uh, what is it, uh, Hilter Skelter jackets, all them sort of stuff. Yeah. I used to go down, there's a shop down the road in Schaefer's, that was a rave shop. I used to get all, like, the flyers. All the flyers and, and stuff, I'd yeah. Pass plus them on the wall with, as if, like, I'd never go to one of them things. Yeah, I mean, a million like, different acid yeah. places. But again, yeah, everyone would sort of plague. Like, and I think that was, like, the birth of, like, the, the, the bomber the jackets, jacket and the puffer jackets Elvis, yeah. with all that. So that was kind of thing, and everyone, and you heard of people that like was in like a couple of years older who'd actually gone to like raves and yeah, stuff, and it's like, yeah. oh, okay. I've got, I've got things like um, Prince and Symbol. Uh, oh, okay, that album nice. was out, and then was what Pearl was Jam that? Ten out that year no, as well? Was, was that the previous before. year, and it's just crept into yeah. like what, a bestseller? What songs was he as the symbol? What, what songs did he do as the symbol? Do you know what? I couldn't tell you. This is where my uh, lack of research is was, painfully abundant. Yeah, because that was all about that was all about him doing um, a protest, wasn't it, against the record company, wasn't it? Yeah, so he t- changed. Is that the squiggle? Yeah. Yeah, I think people. Kind of thing, so yeah. is this when he became the artist formerly known as Prince? I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a slave type thing, and he was, was not ah, yeah, 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 so yeah, the, yeah. the record company's beck and call type thing. I'm yeah, not. so he could still put albums out there, but it wasn't. Under yeah, their I remember control. they wrote that. Yeah. Didn't write on his cheek or something. Like yeah, he always had slave written yeah. across his cheek, didn't they? And. And then but on the other side was um, chicken. Yeah, cook cook at one eighty <laughs> yeah. for twenty five minutes for a for a nice even crust. <laughs> he was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, he wrote that very small, obviously, because he was a yes. tiny man. And then was Michael Bolton also out this year? Was probably. timeless. He was always. Uh, I think we mentioned I mean, he that was, last year. He was timeless. probably mm. probably another creeper. If yeah, it, a singles would have gone on for if he, years, if, wouldn't they? Yeah, so. absolutely. If, if he wasn't out in the charts, he's being mistaken by a lion in the zoo. So. Well, exactly. Like Beauty yeah. and the Beast was yeah. that popular still, wasn't it? Yeah. Big, big man. The hair yeah, was, I mean, oh. yeah, I mean, he actually, I'm thinking about it. When was the TV program Beauty and the Beast with Vince? Oh, what you meant with Michael? <laughs> with Linda Michael. Hamilton. <laughs> Do you remember that? Was that earlier than that? Because that, that, oh. that was like Michael, that was the look Michael Bolton was going that for. Was very it? much going remember for. Remember that, that when he used it? to yeah. ride on top of the, the tube? I don't remember. Do you not remember that TV show? He rode I on the right top of the tube. I vaguely remember that. Linda Hamilton was like, and he was like, he, why is he on? Why is he on the tube? He, he lived at an un, like a. Is this an American station? One, though? Yeah, yeah. So he lived in in my head, station. he's in like yeah, a, a in, UK one, and there's only about two in inches like, clearance. No, it's like a subway he's, then. He's knocking his head so off like, every. Uh, yeah, so he's on the top yeah, of like Russell Square. He used to live in like a subway, and she used to go there. I can't remember. It was like an episode. I can't remember what used to happen. Oh, and he was a busker. No, and he just used to like <laughs> he used to like savor and stuff. That, but he always used to see, he always used to see him like on top of a sub the train going. <laughs> <somewhere>. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty shit. <laughs> it, probably it was. Did it not, it did must have been. Uh, it must have been eighties because um, obviously she was in like the Terminator yeah. two and that by then, wasn't she? she was, yeah, she left him well behind yeah, after yeah, that, smashing so, it up on the big screen, wasn't she? Old lady. Anyway, that, yeah. was, that she, was that was the look Michael Bolton was going for. I think anyway. <laughs> a random prowler on well, the yeah. subway. We digressed yeah. a little bit there. But. <laughs> we, we have again, but when, it's mm. not unknown, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> the best thing about wearing a gym mask is no one knows who the fuck you are, which is great for avoiding work colleagues, avoiding family, and for doing bank robberies. Why don't go on our website, the great gimps of Gatsby.com? Have a look around, have a browse, gimp it up, treat yourself.
Uh, Michael Jackson was healing the world back in 1992. Oh, my goodness. Was man. he? We should have known, shouldn't we, back then? But yeah. That's a, yeah. So what's this oh. Dangerous? Does he still want to follow on from the Dangerous album? Must be, must it? Mike, would that... Would, what have you got on to Earth Song and that kind of stuff? I can't remember. Was that late? Was that late? Earth Song was when Black Cocker... and White was the end of 91, wasn't it? Yeah. And then Dangerous we mentioned. So it must be still the Dangerous maybe album, maybe the singles that, from yeah. it. So. yeah, he kind of... Labour, yeah. Labour an album for a year and a half, two years, didn't you? I can't, I'm, I'm sure Earth Song was like 95, 96, I'm sure. It was, it was, yeah. was round about the Brits, wasn't it? Because yeah, that's, that's when Cocker, Jarvis yeah. gets his bum yeah. out and wiggles it around yeah. a bit, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, something yeah, to look he, forward to. But again. He, dropped, he had dropped off a bit. He was still like he had still obviously still selling millions, wasn't he? But it just there wasn't. I yeah. don't think the punch. Not the of clamor like of yeah, the yeah. whole off the wall and when he had, and yeah, bad and, and bad and after oh. bad, it, dangerous did okay, didn't it? But it yeah, wasn't, definitely a decline yeah. at that point. But then, to be fair, the body of work before then, you've got all the Jackson Five and everything. Yeah, quite so. It's hard not to. Knock the guy. You can rest on your laurels at that anyway. point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, mean, I think I've done enough guys, you can knock him you? off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to pick him up on his uh, song choices, are we? Man, yeah. More, more lifestyle. Did you ever uh, hear the story about Freddie Mercury when he sort of, uh, he, he's done, a, recorded a duet with Michael Jackson's, but it's never been released. And uh, like Freddie Mercury was down there and uh, I can't remember who he rang up. Down where? Uh, in the, sorry, in the studio, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I was just down there. It's down there. <laughs> That's a bit odd. Down there. Yeah. Just down there. Just down, down there. there. But he was in the studio and he was losing his shit and he rang up like, whoever, one of his friends and that. He's going, no, I've, I can't handle this. I've got to, I've got, I've got to get out of here. Uh, apparently, because fucking in the studios, Michael Jackson's were letting fucking llamas <laughs> through. He, yeah. he was but a, an odd a, chap, an old wasn't guy. He? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, he said, like, apparently it's... it's They've got like either one or two like quality duets, Tunes in but the they're never going to be released, or they so doubt they'll then, ever be released. Would that be part of his estate that's since been sold on to whoever it is? is yeah, it maybe that yeah. owns it or Axel Rose. <laughs> Was it the, didn't the Beatles? Was it the Beatles and yeah. that? Or did he own? No, he owned, he owned the, the Beatles. Beatles. That, yeah, that's yeah. why he fell out with Paul McCartney. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, he owns the that, Beatles. That, but... that and the kid fucking. Yeah, that and yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, trying to try out with Paul McCartney's yeah. kid. Turns out Paul's yeah. got quite a sense of uh, what's right and wrong. Here's going. Oh, well done, Paul. Why did we start on these nineties after all? <laughs> Turns out, terrible idea. I'll love. tell you why. Because Aiky Breaky Heart was there to yeah. make us feel now better about ourselves. And jump by crisscross. Who exactly. who doesn't love a couple of guys that wear their uh, dungarees Close back, back to, front. to front? Yep. Quids in right. Yep. What an album! I've got two two other tunes that. I don't like myself for liking, but I would have listened to mm. back then. Don't forget, that you're judging 14-year-old James, not 43-year-old okay. legend. Okay. Uh, it Only Takes a Minute by Take That launched mm. the careers of those five little Mancunian devils. Sure. And, uh, was you at like a smash hits party? I probably would have been, yeah. Just, yeah. you know, just hobnobbing with celebs. Um, and Good Night Girl by Wet, 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 who we've touched on the wets, but... I, that, that I don't that mind well. Wet 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 to be fair out of all the, the again there's a couple of, the of tunes that you could kind of listen to yeah, exactly. and get away with they have got some really dreary drizzly oh. wet 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 which wet you understand shit. from a Scottish band raised in yeah drizzle and called Wet well, Wet Wet a couple of songs I like like Sweet Little Mystery and the yeah, Kings, yeah absolutely but hey this, uh, I'm going to get beaten up when I leave this that's when he had his short spiky hair though not his long yeah. not the flowing and, the flowing locks of and the also before he was injecting yeah. smack into his veins as well yes mm. absolutely. he was a Again. massive smack head wasn't he oh, well, God, that's what happens to do you but when you uh, sing uh, a fucking song that is number one for oh. about three uh, years 17 years yeah absolutely yeah it's going to have an effect that's what we're saying people don't do drugs or don't have a, a long running number one. Yeah, <laughs> both terribly bad for your health. Yeah. It turns out. Or hang out. Well, with yeah. that. I mean, I suppose the only one out of them all was Brian Adams. Whitney didn't end up well. Oh no, yeah, Bri- Bri- Brian loves PCP, doesn't he? Does he? <laughs> yeah, massive fan of He does. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe all down, all on meatloaf now. Then it's all yeah. on, wow. I mean, <laughs> when you're resting it all on meatloaf, <laughs> we've taken a wrong turn somewhere nineties. <laughs> Meatloaf sticks little Lego men up his ass. Is that true? Yes. I'd, I'd heard that rumour, but I didn't want to believe he, it. Is that what he was singing about? Yeah, that's what he won't do for love. <laughs> oh, he will do that for love. But He'll he, do that for love. But he won't put in a full spaceship. He won't put in a Millennium oh, no. Falcon. Oh, no, that, oh, that's mm. just carnage, isn't it? I Except suppose. for brick by brick he will, but not the full Millennium. Oh, I see. He yes. won't try and keep it intact. Yeah, exactly. But he will break it up and <laughs> yeah, feed, up. feed the beast. <laughs> Wow, you heard it here first, folks. Comes out like a bad out of here. 
<laughs> That's a lovely way to wrap our look back at the music of 1992. So, gentlemen, let's move on. Uh, small screen stuff from 1992. Bit of TV. What was uh, appearing on your screens in your bedroom or lounge back in 1992? Phil? Okay, so I've gone for, as I do normally, things that actually started from the year 1992. Lovely. Ooh, Not necessarily okay. was playing. New so. to oh, the that's planet. A, that seemed like a little bit of a dig at us, didn't it? It did, didn't it? Oh, yeah. You were quite no, 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 I'm, I'm just, doing it, by the yeah. way. No, I'm yes. just so saying, you're clearly I'm just, not. I'm just you doing it. I'm just Have doing it. Like I said. Because there are, there obviously there are. If I was with my on. friends, I'd totally dump you. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are other shows on, but I'm just going for the ones that started. So, okay, like go on. Touch of Frost. Ah, uh, yes. Touch of Frost with Del Boy. Del Boy, going to all serious. Yeah, that was on. I never really watched that, to be fair. But no, I, I was didn't he, fancy was he it. a detective? Yeah, I, yeah. I've never watched yeah, it. Yeah, so no, I've never watched, watched it. Yeah, it's so another one of those. Either. Yeah, kind of old and crusty. Like, yeah. we've, we've mentioned it's like that old crusty TV. Crusty yeah. TV. Oh, I remember one of them. Oh, whilst we're on crusty TV, regional crusty. Yeah. TV. I think I know what you're going to say. As time goes yes. by. Oh. Who was that with? That was that was Jeffrey. We did the theme tune to film ninety two. You got to do as time goes by. That what I was. As time goes, goes by. That's, that's, that's what I was, was waiting that, for. Was that, that Judy Dench? It might be Judy Dench. Yeah, Judy yeah, Dench and Jeffrey Palmer. Mr. T. Yeah. No, Mr. T. Oh, was it Mr. T? Yeah, Mr. T, yeah. And getting on plane, uh, Judy. Yeah. He went, <laughs> just after his 18 days had like gone down, he was like, yeah. Mentioned Heartbeat. heartbeat. We did mention yeah. Heartbeat, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Nick Berry's new vehicle, yeah. Um, I've got Batman, the animated series. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, right. You, did, okay. No, you didn't I underestimate that, no. And that, X-Men that. as well. They both... They were, no, uh, literally. You they, remember we were talking about those, though? We called that Loser TV. Yes, yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Absolutely. They, they, used like, they used to be on like Saturday morning TV. And I, I, they were brilliant. So I remember he I tells us he's I always think, out either delivering papers, papers or playing that. football or breaking hearts. If, when do you have a chance to watch this nonsense? If only the... Saturday morning TV was like... Now it's going live. If only I mean, the was, girls knew I that... I had three hours dedicated to that, yeah. and that was, I was going nowhere. If only the girls knew that you dumped, that you, you was watching them two programmes. Yeah, they, uh, would have, yeah. they wouldn't have felt they half have, as bad, no, would exactly. they? Yeah. Lucky escape there, love. Yeah, you're been, right. Yeah. <laughs> Loser. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a couple more, but they're quite uh, mainstream, and I'm sure you guys have got to tell you guys... Okay, Del, here's with a couple of your um, uh, your little I, finds. I don't know why I put this down because I fuck knows you. You'd probably be able to help me with this. Melrose Place, Melrose, another one of those kind of nine oh two nine oh two one oh teen drama nonsenses. Got one. States. Gladiators, Gladiators, indeed. It was the American one, though, wasn't it? No, it was no Wolf, this was the Wolf, one on Jet, yeah. uh, Lightning, yeah. and uh, it was the massive coke heads. Um, uh, Shadow, Shadow, yes. Yeah. I thought it came in. I've read later, but the American no, version was no, I've got it. no, the American version was a bit earlier because that was always played at like, like, yeah, like, like 12, it like 1. three in the morning, it was. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. I used to record it, like, yeah. No, it was like as laughable as it is that that was the program oh, to watch. Oh, that was that was early evening. That set yourself up for a Saturday night. Yeah, it was it? brilliant. Was, yeah, was especially brilliant. when Jet was on the rings. That's Jet yeah. oh, Saturday night. But I who? Mean, but who decided to Zodiac. pair like John yeah. Fashioning with Ulrika Johnson? Like I get Ulrika Johnson because she was already a presenter. She's an ITV weather girl made presenter. Wasn't presenter, she, but John yeah. Fashioning, a guy who plays for Wimbledon, like a notorious thug who wasn't the most sort of charismatic. I guess because you had that kind of martial arts esque oh, right, okay. flavour to gladiators, and maybe that's where they you, went. But do any of you guys know what a wooga means? Well, I mean, I, I think you shout that just before you start singing "Coco Hot." <laughs> <laughs> a wooga, a wooga. Coco well, Hot. But if it, it, you you probably would think it's Nigerian background, you probably thought, "Oh, it's Nigerian tongue." I'd, I would imagine it's, it's something. absolute bollocks. Is it a wooga. cobblers? Yeah, wooga. Man. It's just. Now, what did Chris Akabusi say? What was his... Did he also nick a wooga? Or did he have another similar sounding kind of... Uh, He went... "Ah!" You're right. It was a noise, wasn't it? Yeah, rather than a word. Okay. I don't know if it wasn't that noise, but it was... No, no, I think think it's ballpark. I thought he was joking. No, no, no. (laughs) I think he's he's almost there. Might have been a slight slight note change, but yeah, I think I think you might be right there, Dan. All right. I remember, um, I'm gonna, I'm right, gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you three extra points. Uh, I think Cheers, John Fashion who's I don't know, his noise is probably related to not, I, li- not listening to his brother's uh, you know, heartfelt story. And, yeah, uh, that was and uh, what was oh, it? Was tragic, trying trying yeah. to buy him from selling it to the uh, yeah, papers. That was awful, it? wasn't it? Yeah, that was, oh, it was <laughs> a cold oh, man, didn't he? It was fucking horrible. Yeah, wowzers. He doesn't even like hold any rem- like. No, there's not yeah, a great deal of yeah. 
dark, dark stuff, that story. Wow. Fash the Bash as well. Like a guy who's literally kicking shit out of people. Yeah. In, on the pitch. And on off a Saturday the pitch. afternoon and then, yeah. yeah. And then just sort of like front the TV show. Like, pretty much hi, hi kids come yes. watch these uh, like, but I must say Ulrika Johnson was so hot at that time she was like like I, I don't know I mean she's, like she's are you saying uh, crawl over hot coals and broken glass to, to be with her kind of yeah. that was Jet that was Jet I think, I think well, no, well yeah. yeah Jet in Lycra but then fast forward to her on You Bet and she when she was Diane Udall You she, Bet Jet she was then in a dress and I don't know it was something about her being in a dress that was so masculine for me it just put me right off but yeah. her in Lycra but then it, she also won you over when she was trying to figure out the every dial code from the UK you know in 20 seconds you know what I is just, that telecom or something or, I don't know I don't know I've, she's kind of really confused that's, that's, that, 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 that was the that, kind of thing that used to be on You Bet yeah one of the oh, U-Bet right, challenges oh, the task yeah. oh, they had to do <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you bet it was a bit of a poor show. But Jet, um, Gladiators was like amazing. Though. Gladiator, like, definitely. Yeah. Definitely up there for uh, one of it the was highlights. Of the it was massive. It was yeah. huge, wasn't it? Everyone oh, absolutely. Yeah. That, was, that was a big rating show. Another random one. I think, Ooh, I don't know if you'll get a feel, but Jimmy might. Me, you and him. Me, you and him. That does ring it little bells. It's Punt and Dennis and Nick Hancock. It was a sitcom. I vaguely remember it. But it was just, yeah, I, I think mean, it's an ITV I've job. I watched to do a that. lot of nonsense. I think a lot, of IT, a lot of that, ITV yeah. comedy was tosh, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it kind was of yeah, very derivative stuff. It was. I've got down, I don't know if it's accurate, but I've got down Mary Whitehouse experience. Um, I think, I'm not too sure if it's the right year, but anyway, that was. I, it would have been around, around that, that time, time, yeah. But yeah, it's very yeah. much of its uh, sort of time. So yeah. I thought it was. Uh, good. I imagine because they were all probably a, a consequence of like major and the Tories all being in power and all yeah, it's kind of like, of that kind of. So yeah, in the eighties, yeah, seventies you had Python. In the eighties, you had like say Young Ones or whatever, sort of yeah. like anarchic type comedy. Yeah. And then I thought Mary Whitehouse was that for the nineties at the beginning, and then because yeah, you had Punt and Dennis were a bit more of the political satire, yeah. and then you had um, Newman and Badil who were a, a bit, bit more, more hard, yeah. darker and stuff yeah, the like rock and roll yeah. Element yeah, some, to it, almost like, wasn't it? Sort of great sketches in there that I, that I, I like. Some of them will still be quite funny today. Um, one I've got here, I don't know again, I don't know if it's accurate, but it coincides with the Premier League is uh, Soccer Saturday started. Mm, so, did it? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, I don't know if old Jeffy boy was doing it, but mm. uh, yeah, it's apparently, uh, I've got men behaving badly. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've got that. Yeah, yeah, not uh, that would have been um, that would have been on ITV though, wouldn't nah, it? And it would it wasn't um. Rather, because they went across with... It wasn't so Neil Morrissey, 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 it was Harry Enfield. Yeah, Harry Enfield. Oh, Harry Enfield. first series Harry Enfield. Yeah. I never saw them ones, I just saw when... Uh, yeah, I've Morrissey only watched them out. more recently. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man, I've got, some, I've got some, other, yeah, some other little uh, belters that started uh, and were playing this year. Absolutely Fabulous, started oh, yes. on BBC oh, yeah. Two. Oh, yeah, sorry, I did it. Bit of Ab yeah. Fab, which was uh, one hell of a that series. That was quality. I don't, like... Um, <laughs> He said a really camp man. That, that was, that was, was cool. <laughs> that was no, like Lloyd great. Grossman, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. No. Through the who, who lives in a house like this? <laughs> I, I used to love that because me and I watch it. Me, mum, and my brother would watch it, but my dad pretended he didn't like it, and then but he really did. Oh, nice! And it was that sort of because he was from that era of that sort of like still had that kind of sexist. Yeah, views. I shouldn't like this female. And it shouldn't be laughing at comedy female thing, comedy, yeah. but yeah, he just can. Oh, nice! Yeah, it. I mean, it was very infectious, certainly. Yes, no, no, fair play. No. Definitely worked out. Other things I've I've found this year, so um, Games Master. You mentioned oh, like, that yeah. kind of tea time stuff. That was yes. a, that was great. Yeah. That was a great little show, wasn't it? Yeah. Dominic Diamond, Dominic Diamond yeah, yeah. Patrick, Patrick Moore, Moore was the Game Master. Wasn't Same. it? Wasn't it Ben the Buffin? What you fuckers used to call me with my glasses. Yeah, it was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd like to say that I, I wasn't part of that, Richard. I would never stoop so low. Uh, not one of my respects. My you're lucky that's, you're chums, lucky that's my all you got. You weren't locked in a... Yeah, absolutely. Covered. He could have been far worse. <laughs> yeah, could have been far worse. You're lucky you were taller than four foot six. Because uh, <laughs> Phil, Phil couldn't reach to I wore glasses at the dominate, time, so yeah. the hairspray would have protected me. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Very but true. the glasses would have protected me, not the hairspray would have protected me. That would have been weird. And I'm trying to find a way out of this yeah. for you, but you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. the glasses would have worked. Uh, <laughs> other things that were on telly at this point, Sean Show. Oh, okay. On yeah, Channel 4 with Shawnee Hughes. Uh, Hughes. I almost said lot, but that's... He was, no. he was the one where he was in the bath in the sort of the opening titles, wasn't he? Just singing away at Shawnee Show. I don't kind think of I ever saw Weird and anarchic. 
stuff. Yeah, like Sean, um, Sean Hughes was, he won a Perry Award for, um, in Edinburgh and then he kind of did that kind of went away from stand-up and then it just pretty much was on Buzzcocks for like... You're absolutely, absolutely right. Yeah, ages, yeah, yeah, Buzzcocks, yeah. Don't think he didn't really go back to stand-up to later. When he did, he bombed a bit. Oh, did so, he kind yeah, of lose I it? Yeah, I know a few people that... Yeah. Oh, that's but a shame. I, I don't know how he finished up, so... Well, I, I know how... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know sorry. how he finished up, but so I mean, as in yeah. comedy-wise. Oh. I think, yeah. I think so it's did. a shame when that kind of talent does yeah, yeah, I think fall so. away. It's just... That's... Like with stand up, it's like a muscle you got to flex. It's one of the things if you go away from it. Yeah, it's I, like, guess so. I think it's one of the reasons why Eddie Murphy doesn't go back to it is because he he left it at a point of so, yeah. like ridiculously high zenith. quality. So yeah. to go back to it now, anything's going to be a yeah. And I think sometimes like, what is he going to talk about now? Is like yeah, you're kind of angry the in the world, one. or you've got to have some form of struggle. Spice I guess haven't you? And Spice Girls, yeah, Milby. Still paying out for that kid. Shrek and Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they called his children? It is. No, <laughs> no, that's powerful. Oh man! But oh mate, the fucking song he sings though. Party, is it party? Party all the time. I can't remember. He sings a song from one of his films. He was on an eighty show today. Really? Yeah, he, he can knock out a tune. That boy as well. Oh. He's multi-talented. He's not quite Jamie Fox, but no, he's, uh, no, the man's got. Yeah, he's got some uh, some skills. Whether you like the fox or love a bit of fox, Arctic or otherwise. Uh, more Channel 4 raw, stuff raw that I, I was very much enjoying Northern Exposure do you ever remember watching Northern Exposure I remember it being on I yeah, yeah I remember really it tell yeah. I don't think I ever watched it but I do know oh. it, was it about, were they Canadian were they it was yeah. Canadian no, yeah. 30 something something? yeah so they're all kind of set up in the, the icy world that was another stuff stuff programme wasn't it 30 something oh. it might have been it's probably the British version of it. it's 30 yeah. Rock well, maybe 30 that's rock, what you're, okay. uh, you're, you're going down uh, later with Jules Holland started okay, this year really? and okay. still runs to this yeah, day which is um, impressive longevity from young Jules but it's one of those ones that kind of carried a bit of gravitas for the yeah, music industry good, I mean, who was the first act do you know that? if only I had that I'm going to pull one out I think mm. I think it was Sally Beeswax oh uh, yes she was back yeah yeah, yeah she she did a little bit of uh, Didn't, uh, priest, hu- priesting <laughs> yeah. and then she uh, dental hygiene do a set dental that? hygiene did definitely play on the first yeah. episode as well yeah do you're you right promote bad cavity I think it was yeah plaque attack they yeah. sang and then uh, <laughs> fill my hole which was uh, which was nice give me five ending with the root of the problem <laughs> yeah oh. <laughs> The root of the problem. <laughs> too many puns. Too many puns to deal with. The adult channel launched on Sky. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, giving God. strange young men something to do. It wasn't do the only thing when that launched, of, that launched uh, was it? Yeah, midnight and 4am. Get involved if you could. <laughs> uh, match of the day came back to BBC with obviously Sky taking the Premier League. They had their yes. own highlights and stuff. So match of the day made a welcome return to the Beeb. Sadly, Wogan, however, left the BBC and stopped stopped his little uh, yeah. chat show. That was the, I think we talked about that last time, wasn't it? That yeah. was like yeah, that old yeah, school... Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Sort, sort of the of last like of the dinosaurs type dinosaurs, thing, yeah. which is, um, yeah, a shame. Susie Dent made her debut on Countdown as the lexicographer and still, oh, okay. still there to this day as well. Thousands and thousands of shows under her belt. Wow, OK. Um, anyone remember El Dorado? Yes. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Start? That was started. And, How long did it last for? Uh, I think like it did years, one, one year, then the following year yeah. it kind of ended. They yeah. tried, spent I, so much money on it, didn't they? M- launched it with this yeah, fanfare like, of like, It was oh like God. really massive hype, wasn't it? Yeah. And then, oh, turns out it was absolute horseshit. I'm trying to think another thing that had similar hype to that. The hype was really big. I mean, they, they, yeah. they made such a big deal about like, this yeah, is just... Yeah, I think just, it went overballed, didn't they? Yeah, it was always going to be... in like on the choir, it might have done yeah, all right. Yeah, absolutely. Like, but I think if the expe- all, expectation be, was so high. I think it's because it was all, obviously it was set in Spain, wasn't it? So they had all the tiled floors and then they made everyone yeah. wear high heels. So it was just all this clackety, clackety, yeah, clackety, yeah. clack noise. And oh, it's just... It was like like boats blowing up and I remember, things like, like explosions. All you remember is the, the girl on the horse. No, I... Didn't I, wear, didn't wear a bra. I remember she rode a horse one character... Lots. Called, that was he was it. called Bunny. 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 Yes. And he had a uh, like really young wife. Yes, he did. I yes. remember that. Yeah, because curly I, head, redhead wife. Yeah, I think. she was. Yeah, like, she, well, lovely. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Lovely girl. Lovely girl. Lovely girl. Was. girl so sweet, <laughs> sexy, and you know it. But he was obviously an old lech and <laughs> he had was money. An old lech. Turns out, money works. It does, man. Yeah. If but El Dorado, El Dorado, El Dorado doesn't. Did not. Absolutely. <laughs> did not work. You're quite right. What did work was Channel Four taking the uh, highlights to Serie A. 
Oh, okay. Uh, well, because that's our Because that's our um, idea. Oh, la, 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 la. All that. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Italian, Italian football. But that, well, that was, I suppose that uh, coincided with Gaza moving to Lazio, was it, around that time? That would make sense. Because, yeah, yeah, we talked about him knackering his knee up in the 91 yeah. comp final, didn't he? So he yeah, it's been, kind of all, it all kind of yeah, yeah, went in followed, sync with that, didn't it? Yeah. Followed so yeah, absolutely. It even stayed the same when he left, wasn't it? Because, like, Paul Ince moved to Inter Milan. And yeah. Later. So yeah, he stayed that plat, kept that way. Yeah, plat it was yeah. he went to Sampdoria, 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 didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But it was big. I remember watching the first game when he scored. It was like, yeah, it was mental. Big names. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Crazy. Yeah, so. some good stuff. Last couple of things from, from myself. Oh, uh, that's good. Good with skills, Jim. Thank you very much. I've, I've done some research. I don't know much about music, but give me some TV. I thought you know, that I know. I don't I know much you. about this. <laughs> <Don't I'm not laughs> <sure. laughs> that is gonna. That's gonna be my uh, my song. Okay. Maybe the wedding. Uh, give me five. Started on ITV. Is that um, the one with Nobby the Sheik? It was a bit like yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of Gaz Top was it? Gaz Top and Gaz yeah, top. yeah. He, he got around, didn't he? he? Used to do many. Yeah, see, Gaz Top. Many he, kids kind of. He does that. You're that Fred Durst. Fred Dynage. Dynage. Fred, Fred Durst is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah. the, he's the front man of Limp Biscuit, is he not? <laughs> Which would have That's been the one. an amazing show. Can you imagine Gaz Top, <laughs> Carol Vorderman, <laughs> and the lead singer of Limp Biscuit, <laughs> Biscuit. going how, how for, for now, now. <laughs> and showing you how to make brilliant. a dinosaur out of a straw or something? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been would brilliant. Be Can you imagine <laughs> a MCMA. show? Oh yeah! Oh, that's made me smile. Really, a, your biscuit a, a wouldn't be after them three played together. Just imagine that he's got his cap on back to front and he's just <laughs> yeah. going, rolling, 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 rolling. rolling. <laughs> Fred, Fred, shh! It's not the right time. <laughs> we're, on, we're on CITV. He's, yeah. um, all he does now is like serial killer things. It's like he does, crime yeah. and investigation. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Big on that, isn't he? <sighs> yeah. Dark, dark. You've got, got to question these people, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. Messing around with that. Whereas Nobby the Sheep is doing some serious shit. He's just doing smack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's fallen on hard <laughs> oh, times. I thought he was doing Shakespeare. <laughs> Shakespeare and smack. <laughs> he's, he's working at the Globe Theatre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, he's really busting out some good stuff. Shakespeare's oh, sister. Oh, that's a hey. He's doing oh. some Shakespeare's sister. <laughs> and the, there it blows. He's doing Shakespeare's sister. Should we move swiftly on to films? Yeah. Go, yeah, go, go, go for some uh, go some big screen action. Ooh. Yeah, why not? Because again, some absolute Bobby Dazzlers at the uh, box office. Yeah, no, it was a yeah, it's it yeah, it a good one, wasn't De- it? Decent, yeah, go on, Phil. You're uh, you're uh, you're our man on the films. Let's um, let's hear your thoughts. I'll, I'll just do a few. You obviously got again. Seems to be a year of sequels again, didn't it? I mean, mm. the nineties just seemed to be full of them. Yep. A Home Alone two. Lost yeah. in New York. How do yeah. you feel about that one after the yeah, Home Alone? Yeah, that it wasn't as good, was it? You've no, got you've got to be judging mm. the parents at this point, haven't you? It's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. yeah it was a bit far yeah. yeah. but not yeah. a second time. I mean, there's there's safeguarding laws now, isn't yeah. it? It's just a year later. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the sequels were pretty poor. In yeah, that year. it wasn't as good, was it? But it, was, it still made probably shit loads of money. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. Like, honey, I blew up the fucking kid as well. Like, uh, we've well, touched. Oh. No, I'm oh, just saying. I, I, I touched the I nerve. Think you might have that's what we nerve, touched. Though. Yeah, I'm yeah. just thinking like he won't have a bad word to not, about Moranis, will he? <laughs> now, where we've been doing Massive this show fan. today, there, mm. there seems to be a little bit of a theme. And it seems to be yeah, people like, getting angry about yeah. sequels. It <laughs> seems to be like you don't like our choices. Sex and telly and film seem to be a big thing. Like it was getting like ramped up a bit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and you got like you got a lot of like, like, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Oh, well, I, okay. I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't, that, wasn't that, expecting that was that. quite. I mean, if you watch it back, it's is there a little yeah, bit of a yeah? You obviously intense, had basic instincts. That's where I think we were. Mm, heading. Just like yeah, obviously absolutely the famous shot. What shot was that? Huh? Well, you know, that, that was my question. That was going to be my oh, question. Oh, Michael, well, Doug- Michael, Doug- Michael Doug- Douglas showing his arse off. Yeah, walk, walking off to the, uh, the <laughs> who shower. Actually, who actually yeah, paused, paused it? What, well, Michael Douglas walking off? Yeah, he's, yeah. <laughs> his butt I mean, shot. Who actually I mean, paused I, it I might, have, I might have checked scene. it out. Come on, Jimmy. Well, the problem you've got mm. with uh, 90s technology is mm. that well, the video that would have been played on... You couldn't pause it properly anyway because really. it would do the whole cooker up. Go to shudder, 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 shudder. So you weren't seeing, and they, yeah. I always had the broken black and yeah, white exactly. lines through the middle of. You, basically, what we're saying is you're not seeing a, a good. I think a good stone shot. Yeah, on a video. I think you have to uh, wait until it's on a Blu-ray. Loaded weapon. The spoof film sums it up with extreme <laughs> beaver shot. Yeah, and, the, <laughs> and the, they just had a beaver just in a, a chair, did yeah. it? Smoking yeah. a cigarette. I think that's uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The Bodyguard, obviously, we've spoke about that. Yeah. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. 
Was that really 1992? Yeah, Reservoir yeah, Dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's that, one of my favourites. That familiar. kind of like jumped wow. out from everyone. Didn't no one knew anything about it really, and obviously them. That almost feels the... too early. Yeah, but no, no, you're, you're, you're right. Was that his yeah, first Pulp one? Fiction was 94, wasn't it? Oh, okay. so, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, does, I mean, that does feel too early. But there's loads. You have Batman Returns, Cracker. Wayne's World. Yeah, yeah. yeah Wayne's I mean, World was good. My my favourite of not now, but at the time. Oh, League of Their Own. Universal, Sol- <laughs> Universal <laughs> Soldier. Van Damme again. Anything with Moranis. Yeah, Moranis. Yeah. Van Damme again. Universal Soldier. I love that film. Well. Van, Van Damme, uh, Dolph, Lundgren, Dolph Lundgren and yeah, Rick Moranis. And Rick Moranis, yeah. <laughs> and again, another one. We, t- we kind of touched it, which I admitted I went to cinema. So, Long Mower Man. Oh, Phil. Did you bring it? Had to Shit bring that film. up. <laughs> Lawn Mower Man. It but there's, just I mean, there's, there's loads of more. Do you remember what it's There's loads more than you part, guys. Was he an actual Long Mower Man? Yeah, yeah, and it was all about like it was like virtual reality, wasn't it? Stuff oh, like that, okay, wasn't really? it? Okay. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what it was about. He was a lawnmower. He was a bit backwards, wasn't he? Right. Okay. So it wasn't about turf upkeep. No. No, it was it was it was um so, like a, like an early runner of uh, garden as well. Jeff yeah. some Jeff someone and it was um Piers, Jeff some. I mean, it, it does Piers sound Brosnan like a garden. Was in it, yeah. Piers well. Brosnan. Oh, he played Shriman, didn't he? Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's so played. Don't think it was. Sounds like a red dwarf. Yeah, no. Strimmer. Um, Collector bag. Loads more. I mean, you, Under Siege as well. <laughs> let's, let's just say Under Siege classic. He played Roundup. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'll, leave, I'll leave the rest to you. There's loads more I've missed out, but I'm sure I thought you, you, guys... would, you I thought you would have touched on Unforgiven. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah okay. I've got, that, would have probably, that would have been my favourite of the year, actually. Unforgiven. Uh, Patriot Games, yeah, yeah, film. yeah. yeah. You said Wayne's World, Phil. Uh, my cousin Vinny, yeah. Um, it's got a ten foot, will it? No, did you say my cousin Billy or my cousin Vinny? <laughs> my cousin Vinny's got <laughs> oh, ten foot. I thought, I thought we were doing that. Did he show uh, it to like, the girl next door? He did, Richard. You know what? She thought it was a snake. Did You'll she, never guess what happened. Did she hit it with a cake? No, she did it with a rake. Oh, okay. That's and now it's going. only four foot four, so... <laughs> he's still it, doing it wor- right for himself. It worked out in the end. Well, I don't think he is, though, because still you've got a four he's foot four He's still lugging around a four foot four that's inch quite there. I've heard, yeah, I'm saying it's quite a disability. Is that what I happened mean, to the... Um, yeah, how'd you get... Long mower, mate. No, I was going to say, is that what happened to the uh, <laughs> owner of the um, <laughs> corner shop who'd done the yeah. paper round? <laughs> <laughs> he did. How do you ever get shorts to fit? Um, I mean, yeah. Always, always well, a problem. I've races. got League of the Own, the Madonna and Davis are not called in and Red Nap. Um, the uh, <laughs> I actually quite, I uh, it's, I actually quite like that. The uh, female basketball, uh, basketball, uh, baseball team, even <laughs> yeah. basketball team. Yeah, that's yeah. a different one. Remember that one? Um, yeah. Apart from that, that's talking basketball. They had white men can't jump as well. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is very uh, good film. What was that yeah, Snipes? That was wasn't it? Actually. Yeah, um, it was entertaining. Yeah. It was, I was, it's not like brilliant, is it? But it's, it's one of the films that you can watch. I'd watch that again. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd happily watch that if it's, it's on. Like, yeah, it's not gonna like. You don't have to think about it too much, do you? It's not. Yeah, gonna... yeah, he's very what it wants to be. Uh, da, 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 da. Things like the... good men. There was. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, more. I got air, seagull slash cake. Um, I'm under siege. I think I mean. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, Seagull just uh, attacking a cake. Se- Seagull eating cake. Uh, that's yeah. like outside Greg's pretty much every day. Just, yeah. just a, I was yeah, on down, telly down the other Seagull. night under siege. I thought you were a Seagull. And it, it, it is so bad. In Cornwall. Yes. Oh, I mean, it's a horrific it film, so obviously. It's just, it's just, again, it's the, the one scene that everyone remembers, isn't it? Apparently, he's a bit of a pig old uh, Seagull. Is he? A he's a, he's a, isn't he a sheriff or a, he's a, a, like yeah, a lawman in the States, isn't he? Yeah. There was a programme he did like... They go around with, uh, I think, LAPD, and he was actually arresting people. And I think imagine being arrested by Stephen Seagal, but especially looking as he does now with the kind yeah. of whole kind of drawn on. But I think eyebrow. He just looks like a caricature I think almost. Everyone he? thought he had the qualifications to do it, but I think it turns out he didn't. Just and if it turns around, and if someone had like blown his fucking head off, it wouldn't yeah. have like well, it would have been fucked. And yeah. There you go. I don't think it would have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered, no. yeah. Um, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> last, last, the last of the Mohs. Farrers. Last of the Summer Wine. I thought he was going to go Mo. with us. Like he's lost his mind. A mode of friend. <laughs> <laughs> was there yeah, stuff like... Was, was, was Hook on in 92 as well? No, I think uh, it was 90. I think it was it probably 90, feels like it? it does. I mean, I feel like I've... I don't know why. I've, I've wrote Hook, Bodyguard, Alien 3 and Cape No, Hero. Hook was 91. Oh, so it's again, it's a carryover. Bodyguard, how do you feel about Bodyguard? I know you, we briefly touched on it, but we didn't really go... I can't afford one myself, but... No, you could. You want one? I don't think you need Would one. Would you pay for Costa if you had the right. money? 
We touched on Costa last. You know I would. Yeah. <laughs> he, like... he is more in love yeah, with Costa yeah. than he is with Moranis. Just, just for his ass. Just for his ass. Okay. So if all your friends were going out with the Untouchables, and they one of you said, "I'm going to dump Sean Connery." And the mm. other one said, I'm going to dump the other guy with a hat. And you would, would, you no, would follow suit. Oh, I'm going to dump Al Capone. I'm going to dump Billy Yeah. He's the man. Uh, he's a keeper. Mm. Yeah, okay. He's got a good, good, good run in yeah. of films oh, coming up. <laughs> he's got a great run of films. <laughs> I, I was thinking, I'm sticking quite, with him. I was thinking he's a great ass, good. but Phil went with... Yeah. Uh, I'll get rid of him I'll get rid of him about 94. What, Postman or Waterworld? When he starts writing a script for Waterworld. Yeah, that is, mate. Yeah, wise move. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much me. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember many other top quality films. Not certainly. really, nothing. Um, like it's, I say, Reservoir Dogs. Glen Gary, Glen Ross. That, that was a surprise, though. I'll, I'll give you that. The, yeah, the Reservoir I'm, Dogs got me. But yeah, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Glen Gary, Glen Ross. I did, I did, I, well, I didn't know of it at the time, but I did like that. Yeah, Lethal Weapon 3 as well. Do you know, I thought we'd mention that because that is literally number number two on my list of films to yeah, talk about. But yeah. Really, I can't. It's I can't because we, we sort of alluded to more sequels. And I, yeah, well, is that an okay Alien one? Free. Alien mm, Yeah. That's well, it wasn't a very good one, but it was... It just Ripley really shaves her head off. Yeah, yeah. Shaves her head off, shaves her hair off. Shaves her head off. You had some big films. Like, they're not particularly great, but you had like Candyman, mm. Sister Act, Death Becomes Her. I mean, these were... These were massive films. I remember yeah. them being big that year. Death Becomes Her is more for the like, Far the and Away. Far oh, Away. Yeah, is that okay. Nicole Kidman? Sail Away. Kid, away, sail away. <laughs> <laughs> that was that one, wasn't no. it? No. That, that was Enya. That, that was Sail Away. Yeah, but it was not it from that? No, it was she, so, she did the soundtrack to Far and Away, though, didn't she? Maybe she could have done. You sure that's someone? I just that? remember like Tom Cruise's shoddy Irish accent. Yeah, Tom Cruise and yeah. Nicole Kidman, it just after yeah. they... That's what, that's what they met on. That's where they got together. Oh, no. Did they meet on... Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder, and then they got and married. That would have been there yeah, first, yeah. okay. But yeah, that's, a, that's about it for the, the films. It was all right, quite a good year. Not bad. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. Not bad, but not not your classic. Nah, not not, not by any stretch. Hey you, why the long face? Well, there's no need, because now we've got music for horses to make love to. Such hits as... <laughs> ah, the cow remix from the MC Milk Tray. Other hits such as Hey Dude and Strawberry Fills Forever. Yeah. We've done all things music, we've done all things film, we've done all things telly. It's time to look at the sports. Mm. Over to our sports reporter, Philip Reynolds, for a roundup of the news. Sports. Sports. So obviously at the Olympics. Yeah. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, we had yeah. that. How, yeah. do, how do you... Barcelona. <laughs> Go on, what was you going to say? I was going to say, how do you feel about the Olympics? What that year? As, or as a concept, no, just in general, in the concepts. Oh, I used to like them. I, yeah, I don't think about. I don't mean. Really, they don't do nothing for me no more. I think this is I the one that like I, them. I think this one I cared more about. Yeah, than this one I remember. This is really not the first one. In yeah, the way that we talk about 1990 World Cup, I think this is weird, the first yeah, Olympics I so, when I probably yeah. would have got a bit. Well, it's weird. Juicy really, and stuff. Sports yeah. you normally can give a shit about. Oh yeah, you absolutely. Find, like so, any other time of the year, like if. Say like swimming's on clay pigeon shooting. Or, oh I'm yeah, thinking, I mean you can make allowances. Bad and just go, TV. I, you know what, I'm going to watch reason, they, table tennis. Yeah. I'm going to watch all the things I'd never necessarily. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. You're right. It's just an excuse essentially for a yeah. lazy ass like me to just <laughs> sit in front of the telly for three weeks and go. Olympics is on. So well, even let's do like this. the BMX and stuff like that's in it now, and so it's some strange yeah. choices. Yeah, it was. But it, sorry, Phil. It was. Yeah, it was a good one, wasn't it? For what I remember, it was a good one. I mean, we did okay, let's be honest, yeah. didn't we? So, yeah. Lin- Linford Christie's obviously your standout blue ribbon event. Yeah. Smashing it. Yeah. Holders, but that kind of shot where they just track him all the way down the, the lane and he's just holding his breath and the eyes are bulging and the veins are pumping and the muscles are just insane. He's just... Was Cole Lewis still running that one? Yeah. He beat Cole Lewis, didn't yeah, he? And ben, Cole... Was Ben Johnson's? Because it was no, like a... No, that was a it was soul. That was yeah. Johnson was 88. sold in 88. Yeah, yeah. 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 But obviously, obviously I didn't know... Because did, he, did, he did do no, a comeback Cole, race, Ben Cole Johnson, G- didn't he? Cole Lewis was like... He was convinced Christie was on the roids, wasn't he? Yeah. Because he was just... Yeah. Yeah. He just couldn't believe that someone could be that Because he was 32. That, that was like... 
unheard of back then, wasn't it, for a 32 year old to win? Absolutely. But then Cole Lewis won the long jump. He beat Mike Powell, the dude that won, got the ridiculous got the, uh, the world record the year before. Yeah. yeah, I think we spoke spoke about it last mm. episode. Yeah. But yeah, so that was quite full on. Yeah, it was a it? proper rivalry, wasn't it? Yeah. Also, I think sort of Carl Lewis was jealous of Linford's lunchboxes. Everyone like, was. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. everyone yeah. was. But you couldn't go anywhere in that 1992 was... post Olympics without the, hearing the about it. The fact that that poor guy would go into an interview and pretty much. Yeah. Like, Should we talk about my pain? Just, no, just... no, let's not. Let's talk about I want my to talk about medals. my gold medal. <laughs> yeah, I worked quite hard to get these. <laughs> exactly. Let's not talk about. Was it in, in between my legs? Yeah, absolutely. Man alive. I'm fed up with this shit. Imagine being. Just working all your life for something <laughs> and then just having to deal with inane conversations with imbecile interviewers. Just, ah, oh, just grinds your gears, doesn't it? It's like, <laughs> there we go. Well, the other, other thing about the Olympics, you had um, not Lynn Redgrave, you had Steve Redgrave. He won a uh, throw in, didn't he? And that Matthew Pinson. Yeah. Um, you had the Dream Team of 92. The American basketball yes. legends. Wow, yeah. That's the. Um, who yeah. knew they were going to win gold, eh? Well, no, yeah, it's, it's a bit. I, I thought that was a bit harsh because that's. I think that was the first Olympics where, like, you had professional tennis, wasn't it? Yeah. And professional basketball. So that it's almost like the equivalent of like Liverpool playing a load of like slugs or something stupid. Yeah, like, it's, like, it's, like if they race. hadn't have won, they would have been absolutely yeah, like, what's, castigated what's for, for not this? winning. Yeah, and then. You had like Michael Jordan, you had like Charles Barkley, I think Magic Johnson, just I think Larry Bird might have been still playing. It yeah. was like absolutely amazing team. What's the you point just, in what, all other countries turning yeah, up? They get paid it's, for that. They get paid shitloads of money. Air Jordans are at the highest probably yeah. by then. And then you've got like, I know, I don't even know, did we even bother to bring out a team? I think we probably you would know. have sent three over there. Just go on, fellas, have a go. Is that, our guys just... probably can not even slam dunk it, could they? Or <laughs> they like, what, they didn't have a basketball between them. especially probably like our old uh, boss from Nightlies. The, uh, yeah. he, was, he was on his stall. They even probably let him. <laughs> Had to pick him up, get him anywhere near the rim of the basketball. <laughs> he was from the, yeah, from the paper yeah. round shop, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we're it's, not going to put our money into this. We don't think there's a return on the, uh, the that, investment. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I thought that I thought that was a bit low. And some of the professional sports, and like I mean, Andy Murray's got a gold medal, isn't he? I just yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, that doesn't sit well with me. I just feel Olympic when it was all sport, amateurs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It, it changed bit, it somewhat, didn't it? Yeah, and you're thinking of taking more amateur sport out, and then I don't know. That's yeah. that's the whole point, isn't it? That, that these people get a showcase. Yeah, absolutely. They, they make, train they make for it. four years, yeah, win exactly. the gold, and then so, they can go. Professional. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, that's but hey, there you go. The other thing, well, oddly enough, as much as we love talking about Italia 90, you had the Euro 92, mm. which I could tell you, I don't remember at all. Apart I remember, from I remember Denmark one thing, Denmark winning. winning. It yeah. was like John a, Jensen's a replacement, story. Wasn't yeah, they were like, like yeah, they were the call like, up, but didn't qualify. Yeah. Yeah. Was there a replacement for Yugoslavia at I the think time? it was, that yeah. That sounds about right, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I think you're right. Well, I couldn't see anything else about that tournament, which is they, bizarre. They beat Germany 2-0 in the final, that's yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah. We yeah. loved 1990, it was probably well, really into our football. I and yeah, that. I, that tournament just passed me by, I do not remember. I, do, I remember Thomas Brolin's goal against us and I remember Lineker's, Gary Lineker's salt. Was that the, was that the Brolin, Darlene, Brolin? Yes, Brolin, Darlene game. Yeah. I remember Graham Taylor was manager and I remember... Yeah, Lineker's sulk when because he got he was subbed for Shearer. Forty-eight Shira. goals or whatever he was. Was that? Yeah, that one? but he, he he just got subbed for Shearer, and I think even John Motson said it in commentary that that was pretty much the end yeah. of his career. And you could tell by in because Lineker pretty pretty good professional, isn't he? Yeah, he's like doesn't really. I mean, he got booked to me, but he didn't ever really sort of like stepped out of it. But he just yeah. really, really showed his yeah. disgust. And so yeah. I think he even talks about it on like the match of the day tens and stuff like that. I think, oh, yeah. okay. so I think they ribbed him about it because <laughs> it was obviously, he was, was yeah, such a, such a gentleman player, wasn't he? And stuff, but yeah, yeah. to lose his, that is like passing of the guard call. type thing. But, mm. um, I think it was, was 92 when Shearer got the, the transfer as well. So he became like the most expensive player. He went probably for like three points. Southampton to Blackburn, three, three and a half mil, six mil or yeah. something, was wasn't it? it? Yeah, oh, so okay, it's when right. sort of things started to ramp up and the money comes into the game and then the, the transfer fees start to, yeah. Yeah. to yeah, climb, yeah, yeah. don't they? Because yeah. that would have been Jack Walker's money being pumped into Blackburn to yeah, cause make them a force. You got Man United won it, didn't they? They won the, the inaugural... Yeah, yeah, Premier League. Premier League. Yeah, because you had, obviously the Premier League started twenty-two clubs this year. This year. Is it twenty-two clubs. Twenty-two clubs when it started. 
Oh. What is it now? It's only 20, 20 isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 20, yeah, 20, 20, and there's talk of taking it down even further, isn't there? But oh, really? they're always looking to reinvigorate and mess around with formats, aren't they? But There you go. I also had, do you remember Ronnie Rosenthal's miss? Oh, yeah. Oh, was that it's when he threw on his left foot yes. and he knocks it against the crossbar? Yeah, I, I don't remember. I remember as bigger misses, but I don't remember it being talked about. Even yeah, that's the one that, that still gets referenced, yeah, isn't it? Still it's like that, the open goal yeah, miss. Yeah. I mean, there yeah. are worse ones, but it's still he's yeah, so absolutely. famous. It's it's famous. He's, yeah. he's not like he's on the goal. I know he's like, what, six yards six out. Yards out. He, but he's on his wrong foot. He's running along the goal, so he's got the chance of skewing it yeah. slightly. And it bobbles I mean, a little bit. I think he turns away because he thinks he's You he buy, him, thinks he's you scored, buy him a little bit of yeah goodwill, but it's still a stinker of a miss for a professional, isn't it? But... Yeah, that's that seems unfair to have him marked out as the ultimate loser. Pretty much. When yeah. there's been some other Yeah, it's a horrendous absolute some, rosters. Yeah. Is that for sport? I don't think there was a great deal else that, that would have oh. flicked my switch. But I mean Andre Agassi, I think, won Wimbledon, didn't he? Back Did in he? he won Wimbledon and whipped um, his shirt off, sent the crowd into an absolute and frenzy. A lot of tennis balls into uh, ladies. Certain ladies <laughs> never <laughs> she got worlds. a wish. She got a wish. He, he made a special yeah. point of visiting she Bentley. She was actually in the they? crowd. She did it then. Oh, right. Like, yeah. he, didn't, he didn't come to her. She well, went he did to Sue Barker, first of all. and then I mean, she then was an absolute Virginia Wade yeah, and then, animal for it, and then the third one. Yeah. Well, the, well, the thing I've got in here at the time is um, professional wrestling. I was an absolute nut. And I think it was... I, thought, I was absolute nut anyway. But uh, for wrestling anyway. But at the time... Are you talking UK? Stuff. No, I was talking WWF. WWF. Before it, it was like uh, looking after uh, pandas and stuff like that. It was yeah, obviously... they did really turn about on their on the sixpence, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they, they moved from like much. throwing men over after ropes after, to... after Hulk Hogan lost to uh, sort of Chi Chi the panda for, for the world <laughs> championship. Quite a he, uh, quite about, and they had to give up the name. That was yeah, they kind of dropped down. But yeah, the Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage, uh, Jake the Snake, British Bulldog, the whole thing. But the one for me was Ultimate Warrior. Who used to come in the ring, fucking off coke his some of his tits. <laughs> like yeah. it's just like everyone used to be so shocked. Oh, like, he's yeah. really pumped up for this match. Yes, he is. And some There's of the shit he used to come out with about the moons aligning with the stars. Oh, yeah, and some like, of the, the pieces like, to camera and stuff. Yeah, just, I think you've got to do thirty seconds just. Sell just random. Okay, I've got this, guys. <laughs> yeah, I just for me that was just yeah, it was just ultimate characters, brilliant like that. I don't know if I'm stuck in my era, but like comparing oh. it to the wrestling today, yeah. Sort of thing, I mean, they're much better me, athletes today. Yes, but the but characters, the characters, yeah. and the whole thing. It was they just, just let yeah. them almost have sort of a free reign, didn't they? Just like just go. Mental. Yeah, it was theatre. The guy uh, with the parrot. Just Pratt. randomly coming, Coco beware. Coco beware. Even even when the Rock, Just some real the Rock is crazy obviously, stuff. I'd say up there with probably one of the most famous yeah, yeah, movie absolutely. stars, yeah. maybe. I don't, at least action stars, whatever. You go back to his original mic talk. Yes, uh, he's yes. Stinking. Proper, like you could not. No way could you do that today. Yeah. In the same way, John so, Cena, I think, is yeah, yeah, kind of. They're like yeah, wow, atrocious. Yeah, mm. some of the stuff. But, but hey, it, it was what it was. But yeah, it's not a one's cup of tea. But for me, wrestling, it, whether you call it a sport and entertainment, yeah. is up to you. But yeah, I used to. Uh, but again, as, as that. Sky became more dominant and sort of. Yeah, again, yeah, niche, Sky took over, took didn't they? On, didn't yeah, they? yeah. And then that was where the like the pay per views come in, wasn't it? Again, with the boxing, they don't yeah. Royal they Rumbles, took that. Royal Rumbles, yeah. wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. But they would, everyone would pay out for it because it was so big at the time. Just I think they so got different as well, isn't it? Well, they got seventy five thousand sellout seater in Wembley yeah. for when they come over here. So again. The yeah. market's there, absolutely. It does, yeah. And so. more and more American stuff seems to be coming that way, doesn't it? So it with does. The NFL were over, Tottenham have built that sort of thing into their own stadium where they've got so many matches. And yeah, 100%, yeah. Wembley do the same thing. So it's one all... just this past weekend, wasn't it? So Yeah, yeah. It's huge, absolutely huge. So yeah, pretty much like that. And that's, I mean, we've always been a bit Americanised anyway, but it's like, yeah. I think we, we secretly love it, even though we love oh, them. Absolutely, hundred percent. But yes, there you go, mate. That's that. that I think that's that for me. I don't yeah, I don't. I don't recall much else. You've mentioned Euro '92, Phil, and as you say, Denmark won it. But could you name yeah. anything else about the tournament? Probably not. I think it was the, the only thing that came out of it was the last tournament before the back pass rule came in. Uh, okay. So it was a boring Ooh. tournament because it was that kind of get a goal up yeah. and then just knock it round the back yeah. four and that was a game back changer, to your goalkeeper. That was, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. That made your goalkeepers only go, 
oh, Christ, okay, yeah. let's concentrate for a bit, shall we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a... Well, whoever came up with that rule was an absolute genius because they, it just totally changed the game yeah. because before then, when you had like Liverpool just knocking it around, back to the keeper, rolling yeah. it out, it, the football was so... It so was boring, tedious, yeah. yeah. It was literally score the first goal and then... Yeah, you could kill games, couldn't you, because of that? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, rubbish, yeah. Right. Oh, Whoever God. that person was, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you on behalf of everybody. I remember like the season it was coming in, we had football training. I remember us being briefed on it, like, and you had to get used to it. And it was so weird not picking the ball up. But yeah. So you being obviously the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper at the time. The yeah, uninitiated, yeah. So, yeah that yeah, must have been quite a... Uh, it was, yeah. Do you know yes. how to use your feet now? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Which now... When you see the goalkeeper's distribution, you know oh, how important absolutely. it is. It's yeah, just so. come on, isn't it? The whole sweeper keeper just and Edison's hoofing it up the field. 70 yard passes yeah. rather than just lumping. Oh, yeah, if you can find out, yeah, a gem of a pass, hey. Yeah. You've got yeah. to be good with your left and your right, isn't it? Yeah, and it's not long ball, it's a proper pass, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Right? Mm. Definitely. Have you heard the old Chinese proverb? The man that wanks on the train is not the weirdo, but it is the man that watches him whilst eating popcorn. He is the one who is clearly off his tits. If you'd like to hear such proverbs as these, then you're not likely to hear them. Okay, gentlemen, we're uh, rapidly approaching the end of 1992, so uh, we've covered all the major topics. What we've actually got is a few questions uh, that have been sent in to us from our uh, avid listeners. Um, So, a couple for all of us, rather than specifics. We've got something from uh, Steve. Um, What would be the name of your autobiography? Intriguing. Um, Give you three seconds to think about it, and I'm coming straight to you, Phil. Cut to me, Christ. Yeah. Um, Feel the heat. Oh. <laughs> it's yeah. not just my paper that's round. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, cause that's a good one. Love them and leave them. Love them and leave them. The Phil Reynolds story. <laughs> yeah. The wanky years. The wanky years. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we like that. Um, Richard Dello, what do um, we think? Mm, I'd probably go with All Hands on Dick. Wow, and that and is on that, the that's the play, cover, on, play on words on Richard being yeah, Dick, yeah, 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 lovely, Richard being yeah, Dick, yeah, like that. And I'll be laying down on the front cover, and on loads of hands all over me. Yeah, mm. yeah, I can see that. That looks in my mind. That's would, think, you, would you get naked? For that's it? powerful imagery. I think I would. Yeah, I think I'll be influenced by the '92 paper rounds with the Madonna book. So I'm trying to bring out a book myself, but it not being obviously as popular. Maybe two people, so and I don't think it, paper boys would be delivering it. It'd be like a yeah. black black sack rather than black a sack. cellophane <laughs> cellophane wrapper. Yeah, it's yeah, just real. Yeah. This is really trash. <laughs> this is dark. <laughs> this is weird, man. This, this, this is, is underground. This yeah, is right. that would work. I would still buy it though. <laughs> Curiosity would get me, I think, yeah. and I would buy that. <laughs> Certainly for what about you, Jimmy? What is, um, well, I mean, I've, I've got one in the works anyway, so, okay, I, yeah, so I don't want to give away the title, oh, because, but I'll give you a, a, a preliminary idea. Um, grab hold of this, it's the Bannisters, I Ooh. think, I think I'd, something something along those lines. I love That's that. That's not how you wash it, boy, give it here. I love you that. You know, something. Oof, I like that. Something that gets, gets you interested. Also, I love the fact that the Bannisters kind of sounds like it's like a family. <laughs> like Roger Bannister. Yeah, like, the Banisters lived It's really Banner. 90s, isn't it? Banister. Everyone had Banisters in the 90s, didn't they? <laughs> what? what kind of weird ass house are you living in that doesn't have Banisters? Do you fall down your stairs a lot? What do you Where's think, Phil? Banisters. No, but like everyone referred to them as Banisters. What do they refer to them now? You just oh don't know what. <laughs> that's one of the oddest oh, statements that's ever been said. Do you remember banisters back in the 90s? Annoying. We don't have them now, do we? Yeah, that's oh. what stops our children falling down the stairs. I told you this. All that other famous <laughs> shit. <laughs> All that other famous shit and you've gone for banisters. <laughs> that is remarkable. Oh. Bad, what do you remember about the 90s? <laughs> Not a lot. I kept falling down the stairs. I got quite a lot of concussions. <laughs> do, you, do you remember banisters <laughs> in the 90s? <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, my words. Well, I hope that, hope that clears up the, your question there, Steve. <laughs> oh, 
man alive. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, well, let's move on to another question. Uh, this one from uh, a Kelly. Mm. Can you give me <laughs> a Kelly or a uh, Kelly? Our Kelly. Our Kelly. Our Can Kelly. you give me any life advice? Mm. So. It's quite quite vague. Doesn't say on what particular aspect of her life. Sounds very uh, broad. So let's um, let's see if we can help Kelly out, uh, Richard. Um, I would say um, always babysit. Never sit on a baby. That is mm. definitely something to think about. Certainly. And another piece of advice is from my uh, my hero, Whitney Houston. Okay. But I've changed it a little bit. She says, um, I don't know what she says. <laughs> she says a lot of stuff. But she does. I mean, that was the no bridge. I remember long ago, talking. never to walk in anyone's shadow. And I think that's good life, life advice. But I always say, I remember long ago, never to shit on anyone's pillow. That is very because true. Because it doesn't Unless go down well. Say. Yeah, because if you're having a sleepover and you do that, I find you don't get invited back. Yeah, everyone um, likes a mint on their pillow. Yeah, it's all good for not. breakfast. Yeah. People are talking. Were well, you that? You were that guy. You were that guy. Let's ask him to leave. He's not coming back here. Yeah, Let's that's very leave. true. How do you know him? It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't like, don't do that. Who invited him? Yeah, don't no do one that. knows. That's him. Like that's filthy. What's the matter with you? Very yeah, true. Um, that'd be my life advice. Yeah. Well, there you go, Kelly. Uh, straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, Phil, have you got anything no, just, as as poignant to, just, to no, add? Just be like, she clearly listens to the show, and if she wants any saving from her mental health I'd stop doing that straight away <laughs> it's about the best advice I could uh, give what would, so you're saying stop listening uh, just for I thought, love them and leave give, them give it a week give yeah, it a week just off. for her if she, to save her mental health yeah basically I what he's saying is don't fall in love with me yeah that's what he's but yeah, yeah. we're reading between the yeah. lines but what he's saying is yeah <laughs> I'm going to break your heart at some point just yeah <laughs> skip it and he's saying that because he knows he'll draw you in like a moth, like a moth he to always a get, He always gets his girl. <laughs> he really does. What, a, what an absolute Trash dish. beam. What a dish. Uh, I've got Do more me, questions. Uh, Jimmy, no, what's your... What's oh, your I, if, if I would give a last advice, I'd say don't fall in love with Phil. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I'd, I I'd, so. I've, I've, I've been saying that to myself for 30 years now. I'd give that advice. And it's, I'm only just hanging on. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. He will wear. He will wear you down. Never popped to the shop. Shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about it for a hubba bubba. I, I just need to get some bits, so I'm going to be back. Give in me five. a can of hubba bubba <laughs> and a kiss and a cuddle. Uh, more for you, actually, Phil. Another one for for you, good self. Would you ever change your surname to Balls so you can introduce yourself as Phil Balls? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's nothing that's crossed my mind. Very specific fun. question. Or, it would be fun, wouldn't it? Or, yeah. Certainly be like when you ring up them boring banks or mortgage advisors and stuff like that and they just ask you that crap name. At least yeah. it would be... Phil it Balls. Would make, it would make Phil them... Balls. Middle name, Ma. <laughs> Phil Ma Balls. Phil Ma Balls. Yeah, so yeah, why not? Fair, fair, fair question, fair yeah. answer. Thanks very Excellent. much. Excellent. Uh, my your honesty, Phil. And your balls. Um, Richard, back mm. to, to yourself. Okay. Is it wrong mm. to sniff a stranger's neck, even if they're asleep on a train? Uh, I don't know, actually. That's a tough one. Who's, I think it's okay, because as long as you're not getting eye contact, you're not weirding them out. But well, if you, someone else sees you doing it. Though. Well, you're weirding them out, yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah, the person one. sleeps, so you're not winning them. But that's not the question, though, is it? Do you it's think just, it's is it right? wrong? Do I think it's right? Oh, okay. Um, it's never been more wrong. No, no. <laughs> it's if it's <laughs> no, if it's wrong. I no, don't, don't be silly. Right. It's 100 percent wrong. What's the matter with you? That is the correct. That, that's me saying that. Answer. So, that is yeah. the correct answer. A guy with a yellow skeleton. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A red dragon. <laughs> Even he admits that could be wrong. So, uh, more life advice. Coming at you from not faulty, <laughs> just blank. Um, I've got a couple more questions, Phil. I mean, very popular it seems with the uh, with the viewers. Um, how many toes do you have? And if you have them all, will you sell me one of them? That's not me asking. That's another anonymous uh, email that's coming. I have ten toes. I have all of them. Yeah, ten toes. Are you willing to no, forgo no, one of them? Like them. No, Maybe you yeah, could suck one of them. Wow. Wow. That's oh, that is from You've changed Dave, your tune. That's from David Meller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting stuff. Oh, wow. 
Um, any more that I can find in the in the bag of this no is the, uh, the 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 bag. No, I think that has clarified everything um, for our uh, for our viewers I, this week. I've got a question for you guys. Oh, lovely stuff! Thanks, Dan. What is the biggest ocean in Romford? Uh, is it Billy Ocean? You're right. Yes. 100%. Okay, so here ends our nostalgia trip back to 1992. It stretched up some poignant memories for me and hopefully for you all too. Failing that, hearing how absolutely tragic we all were back then might just have brightened up your day instead. Either way, we hope it kept you entertained for a little while. Thanks as ever to you boys, Phil and Del, for your uh, candid and some might say disturbing recollections. It's been a good great one. Year. It's, yeah, been it's been good. eye-opening. Good one. That is for sure. 93 is going to be... Yeah, exactly. Shall we do it all again next oh, time? Yeah. It's going to be I pounding. Think we should. It's going to be hectic. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't wait when we turn our gaze on to 1993 next time round. If you want to get in touch in the meantime, please do email us via info at notfaultyjustblank.com. But until next time, this is James and Phil and Elle. All saying thanks for listening to our nonsense. Ciao, ciao, bambinos. Thanks for listening. <laughs>